Damn, I messed up. We gotta go ball. Oh, hey. Well, well, well. What up, boys? We excited for that collab news or what? I, sh I shouldn't even say news, the preview. What up, gimmick? Welcome on in, guys. A lot of y'all are here. Right on time. Holy mama! Yo, Sue, Lucata, I'm down to play some Tekken. I haven't played in about two months, but I'm down. Heard my girl got nerfed, though. Volk, it's cuz that shit took forever. ATK! That shit took freaking forever, man. My god. Wanna know the deets about buff debuff shuffling? Uh wait, was that in the patch? Sev, I didn't even look at the patch notes. I was too busy looking at the heroes. Was there something about that? Are they adjusting that shit? Um, because the way it works now is what random, and then every turn that passes, like they just shuffle randomly, right? Look at that one minute summary. I I look, it was g gimmick. This is how you know it's a good ass it's a good ass content update. The one minute summary was actually like three or four minutes. No, <laughs> yeah, the one minute summary. All right, you know what? Let's start with that. Let's go check it out. That's how you know it's good, man. Uh, which one is it here? This one? Yeah. Sorry, guys, a little loud. So let's see what we missed. Because I was kind of just hovering through it. Yeah, I saw the Briar man. I saw the Briar skin. It looked good. Carl, the most important thing in RT is season and got pushed back by one week. So we don't have to play RTA for that much longer. <laughs> but you know what else, ATK? That means we have to... I'd rather them just finish it early. You know what I mean? Get it out Get it out of the way. I do kind of actually want to try a little RTA with these new units. But um, we'll talk about it. I don't know how strong some of them will be. Like, I feel like Ainz and Albedo aren't going to be that good in RTA. And I'm okay with that. COVID!
Welcome on Incov. So this is the first thing I didn't even look at. Week one, week two, and three. Use the tokens acquired from playing the collab side story to craft epic equipment. Interesting. Sue says, I think Briar's skin is so so not my cup of tea. Let's well Sue, hold on. Well, let's get to that. And then um chat might crucify you though. Ryan, what's going on, brother? So we're gonna be able to get some sets. Kind of like, wasn't this kind of like the um, summer side story? But I think in the summer side story, you don't actually craft it. You just, it just gave you a piece of gear. I wonder if it's going to be the same like that. Reskin Leith event? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought of too. Wait, they time? Oh, they, you guys timed his ass out? Jesus, man. You guys move quick. Right, hold on. I have some thoughts on the Briar skin too. You guys might be surprised. Boys, when Ayn said Orbis, that shit was hype. Did y'all watch that little trailer thing? I love the Albedo dive bomb, dude. Her, dude, the animation of her, like, hold on, let's look at that one. Just this one, just one more time. I love her uh, skill three animation, man. She gets that creepy face. And then that look as she looks at you from above. Jesus. Coven's Coven and Inori were actually thinking guys that she might be good, but let's wait till we watch her video. When I say might be good, I mean like good for RTA. Meta. Reminds you of Luna, Manny. All right, Shaltier. You guys like this unit? Her kit's honestly probably the best one overall. Yo, Zai, they're, um, I think most people are happy. Is that a Joe pet? Joe, we got to talk. Are you going to be on for AFK Journey later? How the fuck, dude, did you get to 5 mil power? You dump another thousand bucks or what? Wait, collab special check-in event. Okay, pretty basic stuff. I need those bookmarks though, right, boys? <laughs> Give me them bookmarks. Gimmick, I need some more bookmarks. 77 Covenant Summon Event. I'm a furry for sure, boys. 80k to me? Sue. Sue, welcome back, man. Listen, you got to pay the time for the bad take, I guess. Oh, also, Gimmick, I noticed one thing. Um, Besides Ein's kind of sitting here, they didn't show the... They didn't show, like, the lobby animations on the preview. I always look for those. Car gets a top 30 in Honor Duel. Um, we'll play some Honor Duel today, yeah. All right, boys, this is actually kind of, uh, <laughs> no one is even paying attention to this shit because, uh, Overlord is overshadowing everything, but Tehu's getting, uh, Tehu's getting a little love. And don't forget too, right? Doesn't he get something with Politis, new ML Politis? So this plus ML Poly activation. Zai actually uses this unit, man. I remember Zai destroying my Carmen comp with his bullshit. Ignore ER garbage ass. Uh, what do you think, Zayan? As the only person that likes this guy. Skill 1, combat readiness. Skill 2, combat readiness. And then skill 3. Skill pushback, skill reset a little bit. Cool. Hot take, Teyu's good after this E++. That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, he was already... I think we just ML Poly alone, right? Being able to cheat into the activation. Kind of like what? Silius Kawazu, etc. Anyways. Wait, is Sue getting timed out again? <laughs> what the? Guys, who's timing him out? Jesus, man. All right, yeah, let's look at this. This is the one. 16 ER, guys. I like that. That's a lot of free stats, man. Give me that effect to resist. The actual skill bonuses, though, um, they're fine. You know, more damage. S1, just for the S1. The thing is, though, so S1 hits two units, right? Volcanics, is that the most value? S1 hits two units every time we counter. The skill two, though, I kind of like to gain one focus, guys, just, just for the momentum, right? We can get one turn earlier into the uh Oh we 
were doing at Lonely Day. CARE 7 oh, yeah. saved. Loving the Overlord collab. I'm, I'm excited that you guys are excited, man. It's good to see people actually hyped up and uh, very positive right now. Uh, thank you so much, by the way, Mr. Ghoul. What up, Imad? Or is it Imad? Which EE should Arya use? Honestly, guys, uh, you can pr you can probably just use any. None of them are too impactful, but I think the best thing is just to get into our... Um, probably just the one focus is the realistically the best one. Right? Because the big thing with Arya is that payoff on the skill 2 big damage. And uh, getting it one turn earlier is really nice. The other two is just like 10% extra damage, so... N no matter what, I think the ER, to me, is the, is the most enticing part. Is the effect resist. But yeah, this is very nice. I like this for Arya. Did she need it? I mean, if Tehu gets one, why not, right? Give it to Arya. Give it to our girl. Alright. What else we got, man? Sugo's Briar, ugly, Tehu good, Albedo, great. Okay, well, hold on, Sue. We're not at the Briar skin just yet. Jesus, he called, chat, he called y'all whack. Arya needs a buff too. The thing is though, like, Arya was still, like, you could still sometimes pick her in, like, <laughs> RTA, no? Very rarely. And then draft mode, she's actually really good um, in the right spot. You just got to pick her in the right spot always. And then for Guild Wars, I still use her all the time. There's probably other units that need to ease more, but hey, I'm not complaining. Solidus says the Ainz already can be used on her. Ooh. The thing is, though, I feel like you need the damage on Fairy Tail, Solidus. She gets so much value out of Fairy Tail, but, you know, I could see that. Um, that plus her, that plus the free ER she's getting is super nice. Okay, equip all function data. Yeah, we saw that on patch preview. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. This is what Severinus was talking about, guys. Buff, debuff, sorting, improved. You can check for more details from help, combat guide, lasting effects. Does this mean we're actually be able to predict the way that buffs shift? Because that would be kind of big. Um, I don't know. Anyone have any idea what they mean by this? What about sign? Is Albedo going to be allowed in RTA? No. None of these characters will be allowed in RTA for the end of the season. Paulus will, though, guys. Paulus barely makes the... Wait, actually, boys, with the, the weak delay... It's okay. You are talking about a weak delay in RTA, right? Does that, af does that affect the um, thing? That... Okay, so the, with the extension, that affects it. Gotcha, gotcha. That's why they did it. They forced them in. Okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I actually just found about that news um, when ATK mentioned it. Okay, uh, hopefully another... Mo I, Drac is lurking, ATK. I'll yell at Drac to uh, ban. <laughs> Go get your dinner, brother. All right, let's keep going, guys. Let's get to the skin. I want to see what you guys say about the skin with Su while Sue is here. Arky Special Operation. Special missions for new and returning heirs and mission progress rewards update. I think we saw this too, right, guys, in the preview uh, from the Metodine Express Mail or something? Just free shit, yeah? There's a bunch of missions for free stuff, which is nice. Remember, bookmarks, man. Hopefully, we can get some bookmarks for the uh, collab coming up. Sue, maybe, if they time him out again. Forge your epic gear. Get ready for that. And, guys, once again, if you haven't done this, if you're new, this shit takes a while. What is it, boys? I think to get both pieces, it took, like, almost half a year, it felt like. So just make sure you do this diligently and don't slack because it takes a long-ass time. You got to be uh, on, on point with this. All right. Uh, okay, here we go. Y'all ready for the skin? Now hold up. Sue, you already got timed out twice for saying this is ugly. Now listen. I think it's interesting that they took... They covered the most iconic part of her is the scar, right? However... And guys, trust me, you know I like when characters, you know, respectfully show some skin. However, I think the hair looks so damn good. I think the Night Captain part, they just did a really good job with the uh, with the outfit. I think they killed it, man. And I don't really like Briar Witch Isaria that much. Or, I like her, but not as much as some of you guys. And you guys know I like the booba, right? So that just shows you, Sue, that if I'm swayed by this, if I think it looks good, they did an amazing job, man. I can't believe you don't. Uh, you said this is ugly. I feel like it's almost implying that this may have been her nightly garb before she was turned into witch. Ooh, good. That might be it, gimmick. Good take. 
Something about the hair, though. I really like the hair. Yeah, the hair and the outfit really, um, night. It really screams like what? What do they call it? Night Captain. Let's see. What was the title, guys? Night Commander. Excuse me. Night Commander. All right. Very cool. Updo's are. Is it the updo, Lucas? Is that what I? Yeah, I think that's it. You're right, dude. Although she kind of, yeah, she kind of has the, um, not like a ponytail, but right, her hair's kind of put together in the back, then goes down. But yeah, you can kind of see, like, now it's what, definitely more of an updo. Ponytail kind of thing. Looks really good. Oh, Pocket, I heard uh, Ruby's ending or something now. Okay, let's keep going. What did Sue say? This is Celine swimsuit all over again. Everyone getting excited over a mid skin. Wait, Sue's doubling down and saying the Celine swimsuit is mid? All right, Drac, get ready. Guys, if you want to spend points, it's kind of expensive. I think you should get him out of here, man. Third time's a charm, boys. You know what? We need, a, we need to show Sue that we're not fucking around, man. Brother, you can only insult us so many times. UI improvements. Lobby theme ta tab separate. Skip this shit, dude. Be who? Be... Get the hell out of here, man. Knockwall. Still get the hell out of here. Ball and Sezen. You can Ligma your way out of here. Here we go. Albedo. Guys, I was actually, um, when I was doing my first impression video thing, I forgot where, what episodes did she actually bring out her mount? The, the bicorn? I almost forgot entirely about that. And also, what is 3F? I know that's her weapon, but one of the give, lore heads, tell me about the, the 3F part. Mr. Valk, what's going on? It's gate. Get that burger, dude. I'm actually getting burgers, too. After stream. Uh, Ruby in because the rooster teeth is being... Yeah, yeah, Solidus. I was actually talking about with that with Drak and Divine. I never watched Ruby, but I know about... I heard about that shit. Third floor guardian. Okay. I knew it was third floor, but guys, for some reason, I thought Albedo was the last floor before... I thought she was the, uh, wasn't she the final guardian? For some reason, I correlated their, their position with their floor, but I guess not. She's the third floor guardian. Okay. Uh, she was the highest ranked one, right? But her floor is still 3F. Okay, cool. And by Korn, Volk says was on season three, episode one. Jesus, Volk, you're a huge Overlord fan, man. Season three, episode one. It, it only came out... They only showed it like once, right? Valk, a few people have said that, man. Um, Coven at first was really upset that she was bad. And now he's cooking. And Ori was cooking too. He's waiting for the... Day, the What do you call it? The um, multipliers? What do you think, Valk? I think her archetype, unless the damage is actually good and we can just use her purely as anti-cleave. I don't know. I feel like this type of knight archetype doesn't really work anymore. That being said, I'm still going to pull. I'm still going to play her. I think I love this kind of unit, man. I only dislike Mushrancha so bad she isn't even a real dragon like Mortcha's only good for her sleeping, not everything else. And in 100% agreeing with their to be God Tristan Wool. Wait, Rasta, what are you talking about? What did Tristan say about it? Tyrone, what's going on, man? As a three-star only player, Shaltier is hell on earth for me. You're a three-star only player, Tyrone? Jesus, bro. Um, Yeah, man. <laughs> that does sound bad for you. But you know what? Respect. Sorry. Ross, I don't know what the hell you just said. Dude, compare 3F to Rocket Punch Gauntlet unless the numbers suck. It's just straight better. Um, Someone made a good point, though. Was it you, Coven? Valk, that... um. Yeah, I agree with you on that part. I, I was telling Kofi he's insane for thinking about even skipping this. Guys... Don't miss out on Rocket Punch, okay? This is Rocket Punch 2.0. Maybe it's not good for Albedo. Maybe it's not good for any HP current scaling bruiser because injury is strong right now. But you do not want to miss this artifact, all right? If Collab never comes back, you will be so sad, just like if you missed Rocket Punch. So make sure you pull, and I would say even pull more than one copy. But yeah, Colvin was saying, um, Valk, that uh, unlike Rocket Punch, right, injury is much more prevalent than things like Defense Break. And so it may not shine as much, but I agree on paper, dude. I love, I've been waiting for something like this, man. 
I've wanted an HP uh, rocket punch for a while. I just love HP scaling shit. Hello, Greater. No, we're talking about it right now, man. We haven't even gotten to the juicy stuff. This is the four. Gimmick said car. Watch the three minute summary. And here we are, dude. I'm still going to pull her, but shout tier seems so much better. Um, I, here's what, here's my take guys. I think most of you will have better success out of the box with shout tier, right? Her kit just makes more sense. It's way more straightforward. She has insane passives that just cohesively work. Stealth, attack up, 100% hit chance, right? She has a clear-cut role, whereas Albedo, I think, is going to take a little bit of work from the cooks, from the chefs, like Valken Coven. Maybe Inori. Maybe me. But I don't play as much RTA anymore. Uh, would ML Shu be good with that RT? Um, What do people currently run on ML Shu? I think anyone with high HP. But I feel like you really want... Guys, here's the take. I think you want... Just like Rocket Punch, right? Which really only shines on who? Pillis and like Karina. Where they stack a shit ton of defense. I think you want a shit ton of uh, health to make this good. And Shu is usually like what? Driet. Needs is a lot of speed. Her weapon's name. And I'm pretty sure she's the floor 10 guardian. 3F is her weapon. Yeah, so that's why Volcanics... Wait, guys. She's the floor 10 guardian. Volk, that's what I said, right? That's the that's the final floor before what? Einz's floor or whatever? The final... But why is it 3F? That's what I didn't understand. Anyways, not a big deal. Shal uh, Albedo will be available in RTA, but Shaltir will not, guys. Shadow Tier will not. Yeah, no shit. Volk. Guys, I get it. I know her weapon is 3F, but you guys said because third floor or something, right? So what's the correlation? I think Cleavers are going to have a horrid time with Albedo. Uh, we'll see. There is none. Well then, Volk, don't you see that? Do you see why that's kind of, uh, you know, isn't that kind of weird? G Yo, Sue, my man. 36F, respectfully, dude. You right. You can see it from that view when she dive bombs your ass. All right, guys. Y'all want to just jump straight into the... Um, let's just watch the previews one by one or what? I'm already talking about it, man. A lot of you guys are cooking. Do you think... Oh, wait. You're not talking to me. What up, Joe? What did Coven say that people aren't realizing? <laughs> Sub 9000 rising. Oh, yeah, solid is true, guys. Well, she was a warrior. <laughs> Very true. Also, I think that Albedo's already falls short a bit because there's no health buff. Similar to Vigor and Defense buff. Sure, that too, yeah. Okay. Let's go check out these. Actually, I want to watch the... Um, I did want to watch this with y'all real fast, too. Because I didn't show it on my... The video I made. Hold on. Let's turn this off. Yeah, but Cove, get ready for them to add greater defense buff. Ooh, FCC? I kind of like that, Volk. Hold on, guys. Let me replay that again. Holy shit, dude. He's gonna conquer our world, guys, and I'm here for it. Gimmick, what the hell are you saying, man? Shout out to Toshihino, dude, the god. The god! Hold on, I wanna look at that real fast. By completing event missions and memory imprint. Oh, wait. Five star Moonlight Hero Ainz Ul Gaon by completing. Players can acquire by completing missions in memory and print it into SSS grade for free. And gimmick. Assuming, right? The artifact as well. Just like all the other free characters, we'll be able to max limit break that too, right? Surely. Surely. 270 free covenant summons, my god. Thank you, Smilegate. Oh, there you go. There it is. 
Staff of Eins Ulgan can limit break it to SSS grade, man. Wait, who did they put in this picture? FCC and Abyssal Euphine. All right, cool. Damn, Albedo does kind of look like FCC. They got, they got, you know, two knights, dark hair, dark long hair, generous assets. Talking about their weapons, guys, behave. Very cool, man. All right. Boys, I think let's just jump straight into it. Yeah, I mean, um, which one, guys? Both mommies, dude. Should have put Melissa instead of Euphine. I think so too, right? If FCC was kind of mirroring, you're right, Drac. If FCC was kind of mirroring uh, Albedo, Melissa was pretty was a lot more accurate. Coven's a lolicon. Interesting. All right, guys, which one should we watch first? I'll let you guys pick. What do y'all want to discuss first? Al Ainz, Albedo, or Shaltier, boys? Let's see you guys self-report. Who's a loli? Who likes the mommies or who likes the lolis? Or who likes Ainz, dude? Who wears the impartial base third party that just likes our MC? Mr. Ainz. Worst first? I oh, damn, Ainz is worst? Okay. All right. Let's go watch this. I will trust the signs. Me too, man. <laughs> you just need energy. What about it? What do you about the animation, boys? I think the voice and just the impact of Overlord is the best one, but I think some of the other collabs had uh, slightly better animations. It's still great, right? But uh, I think some of the other collabs were... A little bit more iconic. What up, casual rider? Muffin. Sky. Ainz Olgon is a five star dark Ol elemental gun. mage. He has high effectiveness and effect resistance and can increase his effectiveness further through his imprint. Shout out, GM says. He's going to take us through this. Skill three. The goal of all life is death. All right, here we go. Skill three, man. Put a death sentence on him, boys. Dispels all buffs. Guys, all the characters in the collab dispel all buffs. <laughs> Say bye to your buffs. Before silencing and 100% chance to inflict death sentence. On effects by cooldown increase and decrease effects. 12th turn, guys. So every unit that takes a turn, that timer goes up, man. The skill is fire until the unit you put on gets revived. Yeah, so the revive part is something I think that's a little annoying. It was just how, how many access to revives and they were even showing him uh, popping abyssal euphine but a lot of times they have holy sack no um so yeah here's here's what i like though coven i like that okay you know what before i get my take let's watch the full kit so here's the skill three let's go look at it spells all buffs from the enemy before silencing for one turn and has up to a 100 percent chance to inflict death sentence this skill is unaffected by cooldown increase and decrease effects. I feel like Lethean Dark Corvus though, guys, right? He should have had Extinction. I think he should have had Extinction. Because that's what... They added that to Dark Corvus later. They came out with Lethe on that shit. Because these kind of units that have look, like those long payoff, you just... If they survive, you lose kind of deals. Um, I feel like they should have added it. Ignores damage we'll balance around it, Coven, but I think not having it is... Dies. That sentence cannot be dispelled. Like, look at that. Skill two. She would have came Overlord back, no? <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Overlord of Death. He's going <laughs> to... I wish he did more damage to light units, but he's going to take 30% extra damage, chat, from light elemental units. So remember, you need him to survive, right, for that death sentence to go off. So 12 combined turns. You better pray, man. Save your Aiden over there. Ain't one-shotting your ass. Any light unit looks at you the wrong way. You got to stack a ton of survivability. Ban out the light units. Or, you know, he does have some silence effects. Maybe have some control ready. But be aware, right? That's a pretty big downside. I think they wanted to make it lore accurate. And they wanted to balance the fact that he's a free unit. No, Zion. We were just talking about that. It doesn't inflict extinction, Baka. 
God, it's like I'm, it's like I'm giving a lecture in class, guys. I explain like a 30 minute PowerPoint and then some kid in the in the back row is like, can you repeat that? Enemy light damage up 30 percent. Yeah. Mana barrier grants a barrier to all allies for two turns and the caster adopts a counterattacking stance for two turns. A lot of counterattack. Barrier strength increases proportional to caster's max health. Snoozer professor. Get the get the hell out. You fail this class, I. All right. <laughs> AD, aren't you cooking? Will this be on the test, Mr. Carr? It sure will, guys. As well as Albedo's inseam, so make sure you guys study up. All right. I mean, chat. Mana barrier. Excuse me, dot car. Uh, could you repeat that? <laughs> All right, we should never reduce the points. You guys are troll. All right, boys. So take note of this counterattack stance and then get ready. His skill one might be familiar if you guys don't know what he does yet. Increases damage suffered from the light elemental energy. Nah, I think, Ryan, I think it was intentional, right? Did Obviously. Has up to a He's free. To activate mana he's our first free ML5 dark. And all allies for it kind of makes sense, right? The fact that he's a skeleton. They want him to suffer more damage from light units. And the caster adopts a counterattacking stance for two turns. Barrier so, Drak, I, I doubt it, but that would that would be insane. And mana barrier can only be dark Soul, thank you, man. Welcome on in. Also, guys, I want to show you something. I really like this effect that they added. Look at when he... Usually the S2 animations right on the passive shit um, aren't super crazy, but, like, look at this. To the caster's max health. And mana barrier can only be activated once he goes through all the buffs, right? Like in the uh, in the anime. When he's just stacking buffs like crazy, you see, like, four different effects. That's really cool. I like that. Hello, Lucina. Lightning of Judgment. Attacks all enemies with life. All right, guys, we get the Dizzy S1, boys. The Dizzy S1. Now, here's the problem, though, man. So, he has counterattack stance. He has AoE stun. He's a mage, right? So, he can get even more shenanigans with debuffs. Abyssal crown, whatever you guys might want. Um, However, boys, you're almost, like, punished now, right? For having stuns. Or units just ignore this shit nowadays. Like, there's so many units that ignore stuns or, like, or you have units that get, they, they want to cleanse debuffs, and then you have unit. It's just, this was nice a while back, but I don't know, man. I feel like this is not nearly as good as it used to be. I mean, Candy's just one of them, guys. Dragon King Sharoon, you got, what, Mortelix, yeah? There's a bunch of units, or you have Ambitious Tywin, man. He doesn't ignore a stun, but you get punished for, like, debuff. It's just, um, I like it. I think it's thematic. But... The game is so different now. And I keep mentioning this part to some people that um, like the game has been power crept so much that where this was like a terror on Dizzy, it's not even that good anymore, you know? So we'll see. I like the idea though, man. AoE stun is always fun. Fun for you, not fun for your opponent. With a 25% chance to stun for one turn. When 20 soul is consumed, grants an extra turn. To it looks kind of cool too, right? Faithful to the novel, says Jorge. All right, here's the staff, guys. Remember, you're going to be able to triple S this if you play the event, which you all should. So we get a straight up 20 effectiveness and 40 F res because we're all going to be maxed out, right? And then it kind of scales down with each attack. This is a shit ton of stats, right? Usually stats that most of y'all don't care about, but Ainz really only cares about HP, effect resist, and then some effectiveness. Now, I think, though, unless you are brand new... The fact that he's a mage, there's so much more fun shit out there, right? I think this will only be for people that are struggling with some stats. Like, if you don't have great gear. um, Because I'm already thinking of way different artifacts, you know? <laughs> now, on Arya, who said that as well? Solidus, I think, said that, Coven? Maybe on Arya. But even Arya, dude, I, I, I don't think I'm going to take off... Um, I don't think I'm going to take off, like, Fairy Tail for a nightmare on her. Sage Ball. Ooh, I like that, Shuma. Sage Ball wants both of these stats, too. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's a good one. That might be the best idea so far. Uh, yes, very important as well as have not only green units. Fairy Tail, very nice versus um, evasion units, right? Things that dodge. AOL? Yeah, Volk. Good one, too. Oh, we were doing it live. What is my I mean, oh, hell yeah. journey streamer playing a different game? J-Chan, have you been playing, brother? I didn't even know you were playing AFE Journey. 
Let, hit me up if you're actually playing. We'll get to that later. But today, dude, guys, like, we're actually excited to talk about Epic Seven, right? Ein's Keep going. Ein's personal weapon and the symbol of Ein's old gold. How do you have Adapted enough ER for you runner on Fairy Tale? Because I run her with Carmen and Maid. <laughs> and Maid has Shamadra. Right? That's two passives plus Maid passives plus Shamadra, dude. Decreases by four percent with each attack suffered down to twenty percent. This artifact skill effect can only apply to one hero within a team. I want to see his uh, lobby the animation, though. Death, who rules the great tomb of Nazareth. Players will be able to God, that's so cool, guys. I can't believe he's here, man. Starting April 18th. Thank you. I think I did most of my dailies greater, but yeah, we'll we'll play some AFK Journey, don't worry. Please. I think someone mentioned that as well in chat. The, I think it was Coven, guys. The 15% too, right? Um, if you get 15%ed on his skill... And then you gotta wait for that to come all the way back. <laughs> and any light unit might just absolutely destroy him. I like the idea. I think of it makes sense that Ains doesn't have extinction. He can't be survived unlike Lethe in DC. Fought the fifteen percent will hurt him a lot. Thank you so much. You know, Kepri, you were I thought you were gonna be trolling, but that is an actual take. You're just using Obama's voice. Um he doesn't have extinction, he can't it can't be survived unlike Lethe in DC. Sort of, but Kepri, in my opinion, man, if you are surviving a Lethe or, or Dark Corvus, the player kind of fucked up then, no? You know what I mean? Corvus should be landing the kill. Lethe should be landing the kill. Um, Unless something really goes wrong. But yeah, I get your point. He, she, he literally does double the damage. Yeah. All right, boys, anything else on Ainz before we move on? There's never enough time. AFK Journey gave my computer a virus. I go back to E7 now in Mushroom Game. It did not give you a virus, you baka ass. Stop trolling. The Mushroom Game looks like a virus. What about... Can't wait to one-shot Ainz with Mercer. <laughs> yeah, Mercer. Um, so what do we need? We need proof on his ass. We need mitigation with him. We need 40,000 health. And then maybe we can live these light units, boys. Give him all the mitigation in the world, dude. Aureus plus proof. 300 ER, 40k health, dude. And I think we can live. We can last. LQC will still kill him, but that's... You know what? Stop the attack up, dude. Strip her attack buff, and I think he'll live. He'll live. Escort, even better, Drac. You're right. Escort over Aureus. So we need Scarwell. We need Scarwell. LQC on Tachi? Ah, oh, shit. Then we're dead, dude. It's not Hellcutter. We're dead, dude. Death sentence. All right. Let's go watch the next one, boys. Yeah, so guys, hold on. Actually, before I move on, chat, overall take for Ainz. Do you guys like it? And two, do you think he'll shake up the actual, like, tournament meta? High-level play? Or nah? Just run Violin on Ainz. I mean, he already strips on the target that he wants to hit, right? Violin's kind of interesting though. Who did we use? I used to run Violin on, like we used to run Violin on like Politis, Fire Poly. Fantastic Guild Versus Skill. I think a lot of these units yeah, are going to be really fun for GVG. Uh, solid fifth pick. So just like Corvus, right? Once again though, gimmick, I wish he had Extinction. Because imagine you fifth pick him, but then you can't because you're worried that either the opponent has Revive or like Holy Sack, you know? <clears throat> I think I just cool might even get used just because he's a real threat. Hard to draft though. And that's, yeah, I think that's the overall problem. All right. I'm glad you guys like him though, man. I'm glad you guys like him. That's a good point too. Gimmick. We want to make sure he's picked last so that he doesn't instantly die to any light unit in the game. <laughs> All right. Boys, Albedo or Shaltier? Do we save the best for last? Albedo or Shaltier next chat? I think the fact if you whiff, he's useless for four turns. 
I mean, if they just gave him like Soulburn, right? Then we could even run book on it. Soulburn, ignore ER. And Grant's Extinction. Just do that. Albedo is the hottest. Shaltier. Shaltier is the best, so Albedo. Ugh, wife over tier list, Rocky. All right, let's go in order, guys. Let's go Albedo next. Here we go. Our queen. God, she's cool, man. I can't wait. I'm going to dive bomb some asses. Pure white beauty. Other uncleansable debuffs. What do you guys think about her being Earth Element, chat? Good or bad for this matter, Earth Element. Skill three, Rage of Nazareth. Fiercely attacks the wicked enemy. Has up to a 100% chance to Not great, all good, good. Genua Make gap. Unable to be buffed and decrease defense. She was water, she kills, yeah. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health. Woo! When soul is consumed, cooldown of the skill is decreased by two turns. 6k, but unbuffable defense skill break, right? Two. Hold on, let's go back to the skill real quick. So Rage of Nazarick. 100% chance to dispel all buffs, unbuffable, D break for two turns, HP scaling, and we can tend soul skill cooldown decrease by uh, two turns. Maybe as like a, um, maybe we can lead off with that if we have some soul somehow, or as a late game kind of acceleration, right? Because then we have a really low turn cooldown on that. Every other turn, yeah. Isn't it like um, similar to who has this kind of effect? Like, I think Shadow Knight Pillis. There's some units that have this effect where later in the game, you just start spamming that shit, yeah? Once some units are dead, once you don't need like 20. You, you see this a, a few times. Ed? Sure. Damage dealt increases Old Bologna. To the caster's max health. Will Ein's death sentence work on Katie's? The, the boss? <laughs> no. Guys, nothing fun works on PvE anymore. When an ally suffers a All right. When an ally suffers a critical hit, decreases damage suffered by 20%. Crit damage reduction for any ally. When an ally except for the caster suffers a critical hit, counterattacks with the bicorn, dude. It does work? Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. Yeah, okay, sorry. When I say it does work, um, I don't think... 50,000 damage, boys, for 12 turns? Uh, I don't think it's worth it, but you know what? Knock yourself out. All right. Um... Especially because, right, the boss is going to take uh, less turns than if you were fighting four people. Let's go backward. Can only be activated once every two turns. When more than one damage reduction effect is granted, only the strongest effect is applied. That's natural for all the damage mitigation. Tax all enemies dispelling one buff before increasing speed. Two turns. One dispel. Self speed up. No debuffs, though, guys. Damage dealt increases proportional, so HP scaling as well, right? It's anyone's turn, but the boss, Maz, compared to four people, I know it's only one turn, you buck at Guys, some of y'all, just like Zayan, some of you guys need to stay after class or go to detention. You guys are the worst students ever, man. Yeah, no shit, it's anyone's turn, Maz. But there's one boss compared to four enemy opponents in PvP, dude. Do the math. Let's watch this animation. Decreases damage suffered by up to 20%. When an ally except for the caster suffers a critical hit, counterattacks with Let's Go Bicorn. Let's Go Bicorn attacks all enemies. Albedo PP up. Before increasing speed of the caster for two turns. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health and can only be activated once every two turns. When more than one damage reduction effect is granted, only the strongest effect is applied. Skill 1. No need for words. Attacks the enemy with a bardiche before increasing combat readiness of the caster by up to 20%. A successful attack deals additional damage proportional to the caster's max health. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health. Albedo's artifact is her main weapon, a giant bardiche. After attacking, has up to a 100% chance to deal additional damage to the target. 
Additional damage increases proportional to the caster's max health. The Overseer of the Guardians of the Great Tomb of Nazareth with pure white beauty. Players will be able to meet Albedo through the limited summon starting April 18th. Thank you. No, thank you, GM says, for that wonderful... Not fear. For that wonderful play-by-play, uh, uh, -play, man. Come. I already exposed it, Inori. I was giving you props, man. But you're not the only one that's thinking that. My day is going good, AT. Thank you so much for asking. Professor Natichini doesn't respond to emails. Shake my head. <laughs> Shut up, dude. You're all getting Fs. Pop quiz! And it's worth 50% of your grid. Bye, corn! Anori, remember when I said it didn't even do a thousand damage? Yeah, she's blinded, but dude. That did 300 to your <laughs> Look at that sick damage, chat. Just dreams and fantasies. If you're scared, run in this distorted world. I will write you. Ainzusama. Yeah, I feel like this was a little tailored on the uh, one HP crowd, man. Wait, guys, did we even? I didn't even talk about the skills with y'all because you guys muted my ass, man. All right, where were we? I mean, we only missed the skill one, right? Did Bicorn do bonus damage? Uh, Ryan, it might be because of her artifact, which we're gonna we're gonna get to in a second here. Yeah, it's, you don't know the artifact, right? So no need for words of taxi mini with a Bardich, the 3F. Combat readiness. Uh, this one has the actual just effect in itself too. So I'm assuming this will stack with the RD2, right? And then damage dealt HP scaling. All right, pretty basic. Pretty basic. Yeah, it should be AOE. So let's look at the RD. After attacking, right? Doesn't say anything about single target only. 100% chance to deal additional damage to the target. Scaling on max health chat. Make sure you get this arty, dude. And look at that art, dude. Oh my god. What is that expression she's making? What is she telling me? Chat, she's looking at me, not you guys. Just so you know, just so y'all know, okay? Just so y'all know that. Just so we're clear today. I asked if the arty was single target too. I want to know. Uh, no, right? Didn't we see it on the bicorn? It doesn't say single target only. What's an example, guys, of an artifact? Um, Senya's already is AOE. Does Rocket Punch say a single target only? Give me an example of one. But yeah, we saw it on the S2. Ryan was just pointing it out right now. What's an artifact, Coven, that'll say it? Give me, just, give me an example of an artifact that says it on the text so we can look at it real fast. Yeah, drinks AOE. I mean, Spear of a New Dawn's AOE, right? They all work on uh, AOE effects, unless stated otherwise. What up, Cole? All right, guys, I'm going to pick up one with bottle. I'll probably... I don't... Guys, let's be honest, man. <sighs> I don't think I can triple S her. We're going to try our best, but I got to make sure I get at least... Save one copy for... I want to get maybe like one imprint on Shell tier, just because crit chance is so damn good. Uh, then I'll spend the rest on Albedo. Unfortunately, though, Albedo is coming first. They didn't save the best for last, right? I think she's releasing before Shaltier. So I have to set aside enough to get one or two copies of Shaltier, and then I'm going to hopefully spend the rest here. 100% chance to deal additional damage to the target. Additional Spear of New Dawn? No, Spear of New Guys, hold on. Am I... Are you guys trolling me? Doesn't Spear of New Dawn work on um what's her face? Charlotte? Or am I thinking of a am I thinking of a different artifact? There's one that works on Charlotte. I thought it was Spear of a New Dawn. Basic skill. Yeah, sure, but we're just talking about AoE, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just an example of things working on AoE. So you guys are asking if it works on S3? 
Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that we have effects, guys, that hit multiple targets that will that will proc it, right? If there's probably better. What was your, what was y'all's better example? Anyways, chat. You guys get what I'm saying. Who cares? Increases proportional to the caster's max health. <laughs> The overseer of the guardians of the great tomb of Nazareth. But now this will work on LRK. Okay, that's a good that's Players a good distinction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Limited summon starting April 18th. Thank you. <clears throat> Albedo is trash. Ban that guy. Just kidding. We don't ban people for that, but God do I want to. God do I want to ban him. Is he wrong though? I don't know. Might not be wrong. Ban anyway. <laughs> hey, you, All right. Hit him with the truck. Hit him with the bike horn, dude. On, struggle. Try your best. The weaker of the two? Um, first glance, I think so, yeah. Just because Shaltier is so. Shaltier is very simple. We're gonna watch that in a second. Now, guys, what. People are predicting, right? Uh, some people here is that she might be a nice anti cleave option, okay? I don't think you guys should play like this, what Smilegate is doing. Bringing her with <laughs> literally no damage and hoping your crowd doesn't, you know, lives at one health so you can one shot something. I don't think you should play like this. But maybe if we're like anti cleave, yeah, she might have enough in her kit. In this distorted <clears throat> oh, Nora, I didn't mention the I didn't mention that part of you know what I just mentioned you were cooking this does look Lucina exactly this is how I like to play man this is my kind of draft dude but this shit doesn't work this shit doesn't work at a high level of play why well, is a little bit of a word that got picked up by anime Call in anime they they named the main character after like a fish cake, dude. The anime will have the most random ass shit. Don't worry. All right, you guys ready for Albedo? Or sorry, not uh, Shaltier. The lowlies are at the edge of their seat, man. Jesus, you guys need to. Uh... <sighs> Those of you that are more excited for Shaltier over Albedo, I still love y'all, but goddamn, I don't know what you guys are thinking right now. Andrew, Co or someone made that joke already. Was it Coven? Maybe it was Sue. Remember that pair you geared a while back? Put that gear on ML Polly and give her a spatial temporal fan. On Polly, huh? All right. Shaltier and the enemies actually go to... You know what? Lucata, that is fair. I don't really like Shaltier's looks, but this is, you guys need to watch the damn anime if you haven't. Because Shaltier is probably... um. They really show you, right, that how strong Shaltier is in the anime. Jesus, dude. I mean, they're all strong, right? The Guardian the point of the show is that all the Guardians are OP. But you can tell Shaltier, like Albedo, is kind of on another level compared to the other Guardians. Alright, here we go. The voice is honestly good too, no? The voice is damn good, dude. All the voices are great. Cruel beauty. Shaltier is a five star fire elemental warrior. She has high attack and critical hit chance and can increase her critical hit chance. So we were right about two of the um, classes, right, guys? We just, we all thought Ainz was a warrior Still because of the damn leak. When fully enhanced, damn but I think you guys called warrior on her and then knight on Albedo, yeah. At the start of the turn, when the all right, look at this stacked ass percent. passive, dude. You want stealth? You got it. You want attack up? You got it. You want to be not one shot? You got it, man. Just give her all the shit. <laughs> no, you guys were saying he should be a mage. But I mean, let's be honest, Greater. We all believe the leak, right? Because it was literally right on everything else. What up, Evan? How you been, homie? Yo, Kragon. Ayn said no other guardian could beat Shaltier, not even Albedo. Did he say that specifically? Guys, he said Shaltier was stronger than Albedo. I thought Albedo was the strongest. That's why she's the final guardian. I thought he said something like she would be 
it would be tough for Alberto or something. I don't remember him saying he's she's straight up stronger. She is. Shouts your strongest. Wow. Eh. Eh. All right, I'll give it to you guys. But Alberto's the final guardian because let's be real, dude. Guys, listen, all you Shaltier stands out there, I got some I got some tough hitting news for y'all. Ready for this? She might be stronger pound for pound, right? But Alberto wouldn't have gotten Fuck, I don't want to spoil. Guys, you know what? I'm not going to spoil. But Alberto wouldn't have been a dumbass like Shaltier was. I'll say that, all right? There you go. There you go. You guys know what I mean. Those of you that have watched it. That would have never happened to Alberto, dude. That's why she's the final guardian. Okay. Stacked ass uh, S2 passive, right? Purifying Javelin. Dispel all buffs. Again, dispel everything. Gigantic Javelin of White Silver. Hit chance 100. Goodbye, Savior Aiden. It ignores effect resist of any target with attack lower than the caster's attack. Why didn't they give that to Ainz Ul Gaun? Ignore ER. We needed that shit. But, um, yeah. Ignore ER, guys, with self-attack up. You should be, whatever you're hitting, right? You should be higher attack. Or you got gear gapped. Um. And so you dispel everything. And then you hit everything. And you probably kill everything, right? Yeah. Cool. That's the point, yeah? They ignore ER, so you make sure you strip everything. And then no matter what, even evasion... No matter what the buff is, dude, you just hit their ass. Dude, Evan, forget Rylet. What about poor Tekron, man? Rylet's dead, but Tekron is getting hit by everything, too, man. He's just getting all his shit stripped. He can't even counter it, and he's not even going to live. Let's be real. What up, Bianco? I know. Listen, Suchi Kage, I understand that you, you shout to your fans are upset at what I'm saying. I'm obviously trolling. I'm only half trolling though. Alberto wouldn't have gotten caught. It doesn't matter what your excuse is, okay? It doesn't even matter, man. Alberto would have not been caught by you know who. White silver. Increases hit chance by 100% using this. Double down, dude! Ignores effect resistance of any targets with attack lower than the caster's attack. Trolling, but not really. <laughs> Skill one. All right, here we go. Summon, Summon the household, man. Summon. Summon different familiars to attack the enemy, inflicting injuries. They just gave her injury too, dude. Just in case, right? Just in case, guys, after you, you one-shot the Savior Aiden, you want to make sure whatever uh, anchor threat also gets injured as shit. Yeah, Coven, I kind of like this. It makes you a lot more versatile and, and not liable to just be traded off or be less impactful, right? She has she now has uh, multiple, target, multiple targets that she's decent into. I'll say she's very good into, you know, evasion, right, with skill three or units that rely on buffs. But S1 gives her a lot of... Um, I think this one gives her a lot of versatility, so it's pretty cool. She may get caught because she's too busy shrimping for irons. I mean, Garon, is there loyalty is one of the most attractive traits, no? Let's be real, dude. I know you meant that as that as an insult, but uh <laughs> you kinda just you kinda just complimented our queen. Read last, keyboard is dead, says Biako. Um uh, let's see. <laughs> so because who the f is Tekron? You know who the hell Tekron is, dude. Don't troll me. Yaka, what did you say? Shaltier is the second strongest being in Nazarek. The only one that can beat her is Albedo's third sister, Rubedo. Are you guys spoiling me? What the fuck is a Rubedo? That's a spoiler? All right, no manga spoilers, guys. Only anime spoil only anime watchers can spoil the non-watchers. You manga readers need to keep it in your pants, man. Summons different familiars to You manga ass readers, keep it in your pants, dude. I'm Evan, I'm about to. Biako's on thin ice. Biako is on thin ice, man. God, I wish I was y'all's professor in college, dude. Every single one of y'all would be held back a year. Increases damage dealt. And injuries decrease max health. Every single one of y'all. Acting up, Shout man. All right. Effect. Pipette, Lance, boys. Um, th Those of you that are excited about Shaltier, what do you think about the Artie? 
you think about the arty guys? Free life absorb and then just straight damage on both S1, S3, right? The minus 40k call. Oh, dude. Do you know how many times like I, I wasn't... T Anyways, yeah. We Class is no joke, dude. That shit is expensive. Rift is gone, Lucata. Can you imagine? Rift is gone and they didn't add the new one, dude. What the hell? Arty looks awesome. Ross what are you cooking? Let me think. Who else would this be good on, boy? Single attack. Just straight 20% damage. And you get health absorbed too, right? This is so nice. So, so nice. Ed? Sure. And then you can, like, for, um... Yeah, sure. Instead of, like, Sigurds. Lionheart Sermia. Single attack only, Belkak. So I think we still run Golden Rose. Right? You still run Golden Rose. A Ravi. Sure. Sure. Wait, then, Bianca, was that, like, where did they say Rubetto then, man? What the hell is that? Most of the warriors do most of the healing from S2. What's up? Time to play Lethe or Laia. The thing is, though, Lethe doesn't really want or care about the health absorption. 20% damage. Is that more than... Lethe's own arty, though, guys. is a, it, I think Lethe's own arty, you still play that shit. All right. Well, tell me more about that later. I'm actually curious to hear about Rubetto, but I don't... If anyone that actually... Just to make sure, Yako, you don't spoil anything else. DM that shit to me later. I want to hear more about Rubetto. Do we know what she looks like? Lethe already is better for Lethe since XRP. Yeah, Lucina. Yes. Thank you for outlining it, man. Lucina is my... Uh, the TA, guys. He'll be handing out the quiz for y'all. All right. The pet lamp. A divine class lance, which serves as shelter. Okay, Bianca, now you're just making shit up, man. It resembles a giant... Nigredo? Covered in metal Second sister that's weak? <laughs> I'm a furry for sure, boys. You kidding me? ATK to greater. Uh-oh, that usually means I I got I don't know wall to greater. Is that true, ATK? Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I scrolled up like 20 messages, ATK. I see one word, dude. I should have known. I saw one word from uh, greater. It said Luna. Yeah, it means let me see. What did I don't want from Despair. Car, can we discuss this? Come, I'll take your life. <laughs> Evan, I even missed that. I wonder if they're they're trolling, dude. Remember, guys, the fiasco on thinking he was fire. Sorry, AJ. You know what? You're correct. You're correct. That would have been... Although, to be fair, I was asking chat. I was asking chat. I didn't come up with any of my own. But you're right. Shu, LQC, maybe Hua would have loved the arty? Hua. Um, you forget, guys. Remember, always compare it to what artifact you're currently running or whatever the meta artifact currently is. And if it's not straight up already better, just first glance, it's not worth it, right? It is a good arty, though. Yeah, I mean, post again for me, man. There's too much shit. What the? Yo, waifu. She's looking kind of scary. I can fix her. Ramadan over. What's Castle of the Winds, Evan? She's giga weak? I mean, I bet she still whoops some ass. I saw the face, Kepri. She got that, uh... A lot of the maids, right, have those scary faces underneath. I said they delayed New Rift because they cooked this event, and New Rift is after this. Yes, no copium. So they wanted to intentionally wait, y'all means? Okay, I could see that, honestly. You've been right on most of the calls. Berries and heals for more sustainability with increased damage and make it nice for Hua. You want to last longer. Hit him with a sprinkler. I'm not even paying attention to this um, combat demo. 
but I'm assuming Shaltir did work. Send out the familiars. <clears throat> All right, guys. Anything else on Shaltir? I have a question for y'all. Crit chance imprint, right? How many copies are you guys planning to pull? How many? How many copies y'all? What's y'all's pull strategy, boys, for next week? What are you setting aside bookmarks for? Who are you most excited for? Which RDs are you gunning for? Which ones are you gonna max out, dude? For me, I'm going to try to get at least like three different copies, if not more, of the Albedo artifact. As many imprints for Albedo. I want at least two Shaltiers, right? Just for the crit chance imprint, because I think she is a good unit. Even though I don't like her as much as the others. One copy, only ATK. One plus five slates is y'all means. Six Shaltiers and two Albedos. Six Shaltiers, my god. Coven, and how many bookmarks do you have? Rossi, do I use all BMs on whoever's first and then cope and pray? Dude, you are a gambler. You are a natural born gotcha player, man. That is risky. No, I'm not opening up a wallet, man. Guys, listen. I am extremely hyped for this and I'm so excited for you guys to play this as well. But I'm so, um, I'm so no longer like an RTA kind of player where I don't need imprints. I don't really need much. I'm just going to spend whatever I have on Albedo just because I like her. Um, I've been spending money on AFK Journey instead. <laughs> yeah, Andrew. I have fucking Skystones and Powder, you baka ass. I'm not saying six copies like Coven. Get it together, bro. Drag pointed out that Ein's passive plus 30% damage could potentially be AoE team debuff. Uh, Thirty damage. Yeah, I know I know. Um, Drax said that because of the wording, but I would be very surprised if that's how they took it. Because then it's like, why even bring this guy? He would just screw over your entire team, no? I'm pretty sure, like, the, let's be honest. There's a lot of times where the text, especially in translation, isn't really accurate. There's no shot this would be team-wide, dude. You got to just assume and hope Smilegate wouldn't do that, right? <clears throat> Take it easy, Lucata. Um, car spending money on AFK Journey. Joe, did you hear what I said earlier? You're literally 5 million power, dude. What are you, VIP 20 now, Joe? Don't project onto me. All right. We got to talk later. I hope you're here for the AFK Journey part of the stream, dude. Because I need to know what the hell, what kind of juju magic... Did you sell the house or what, brother? What happened? He shot up from 2 mil to 5 mil. My God. All right. We would complain long enough for Smoggy to remove it if applied. Yeah, exactly, Zai. Guys, don't even worry about this being team-wide. Drac is correct in saying that the wording could be interpreted wrong because it's just not accurate wording, but there's no shot, dude. If he makes every team unit on your team take elemental damage, like he's actually just useless. Not even useless. He's detrimental, right? He's detrimental to any PvP. All right, yeah, means okay, guys. Um, all right, well, I'm excited. Yeah, Candy Salvo, my God, dude, let alone Candy S3, dude. Imagine like even like Sylvian Soulburner S3. Holy, holy Bellion. You'd be dead dead oh dude. You'd be gonzo. That's like thinking Zio push a plus team. I think Drax just cooking. He he caught something that was incorrect. Alright. Um, chat, one question though. If I didn't have this increased damage suffered, do you guys think he'd be OP? He still can get 15%ed. He still doesn't have extinction. Did he really need that? No, right? It's because he's free, man. 
Smilegate can never give us a free unit that is just straight good. They have to have some glaring weakness, man. They can't just give us a free unit that's actually good, dude. Please, Smilegate. That's why whenever a collab comes out, right, guys? We're praying our favorite one isn't the free isn't the free unit because somehow they're always like now remember guys shuna later on got buffed to actually be good or at least decent she was completely useless before so maybe eins might get buffed later right maybe eins might get buffed later yeah well lucina no one gives a shit about what you want cleaver ass that's like me saying i don't want to see you guys cleave me turn one shut the hell up dude variety is good All right, I only make Overlord cards now. Exactly, Drax. See, we can play. We can play both sides of this bullshit. I'm still hoping it's a mistranslation and it's actually thirty percent damage to enemy light units. Now that would be interesting, Rusty. But I think it's intended, boys. One lore wise, and two, it doesn't make sense that he does more damage to light units because he's not a damage dealing unit, right? You know what I'm saying, Rusty? Like. 30% more damage on his skill 3 that will already one shot no matter what. His skill 1 does no damage, period. I don't think it's the case, guys. I think that's cope. I'm pretty sure. Just like we're pretty sure this doesn't affect his teammates, that this is intended for him. It just, it just, all the signs point to it being for him. Demon, what are we looking at, man? You have 2,700 lease? Lethe game, you're talking about for the event? For the crafting shit, Wind Demon? Brother, I'm looking at your Sky Stones, though. I know you're excited for gear, man. But are you going to be able to get some units? You can't even pity one at this point. He's just going to swipe? Oh, okay, my bad. Excuse me, Wind Demon, my bad. That's my fault. That's my fault. I didn't know we were like that. Okay, cool. All right. Jesus, let's get some dailies on, guys. All right. Give me your uh, any other thoughts on the Overlord shit. But uh, I'm excited that y'all are excited, dude. I'm excited that you guys are excited for once, for the first time in about a year. About E7, man. It's a good time. Yeah, report Lucina. Hope his history was to transform into Mamonga. Was that his? That's his adventurer name, right? But that'd be a downgrade time to play. <laughs> is, Mamonga's when he nerfs himself, isn't it? <laughs> to be more normal. And he's still a, what do they call it? Orichalcum adventurer? Yeah, that's his nerf form, guys. That's his adventure warrior form. Oh, Momon is the warrior. Mamonga is something else? I'm talking about Momon when he goes adventuring with the um, in that one arc. Listen, if you have mitigation for Ainz and he survives three rotations, instant kill. Yeah, but Rue, uh, I don't think with 30% extra damage, man, <laughs> taking 30% extra damage, which by the way, guys, that's not including just the light element bonus, right? So it's 30% on top of the light element bonus already for hitting dark units. I think uh, I think it's going to be hard to make him survive. But we'll see. We'll see, boys. I'm excited for you guys to cook it up. I think unless unless you Call, unless you can stop the attack up, man. Dude, he is so dead, right? There's no shot he lives. Even with, like... Even with Escort. <laughs> even with Escort plus, like, Albedo protecting him or something? Any any damage reduction? I don't know. I don't think he's going to live. That's just so much. Yeah, 30% multiply. Like, that's just 30% extra damage. It's so much. I think it's time to buy Burning Passion Packs. Damn, dude. 41,000 Skystones? Alpsy's been saving up. 
Although, you don't have a lot of gold. So you'll have to straight buy bookmarks with some of that, no? There isn't a light unit alive that would one-shot at 1800 defense, 19k HP Ains behind mitigation. All right, someone, can anyone just even, can we just calc that shit? Because greater, I'm pretty sure LQC is destroying his ass. I don't know if we're trolling or what. Or yeah, just a buffed up Aiden too. But I think LQC has the highest uh, scaling though. Um, Bianca, did you calc the um? Did you calc the results? Did it look accurate or no? Think car, think Mamon with a class change in R that grants buffs depending on the form. That would be cool, man. It would even, it, you could even make him like a Tamarin type character, right? Yeah. LQC would one shot him twice. I think if you're picking him as Aiden or anyways, draft gap. Yeah, sure, sure. That's, that's, a, that's honestly, uh, that's a good take, honestly. But then that also means, right, Fear Giver, we can only draft him pretty late in, in the draft anyways, so. LPK? Yeah, LPK is another one. Somebody in chat even said, like, Mercer or something. <laughs> Let's see this one, Demon. Attack buff, pen set, 4k, 300 LQC versus 1800 defense, Ein sitting behind Aureus, Carmen. And Carmen also has extra, that's all the mitigation, right, Wind Demon? Because Carmen passive plus uh, Aureus. We have the damage here plus the damage emit. 23.2k, is that correct? That's with the 30%. You added the 30% Wind Demon? I mean, I think, guys, we can get him higher than uh, 23k health, though, right? Greater said 18k or something, but I think we get him higher than that. Ban any piece and he's dead. <laughs> yeah, good point too. You ban the mitt or you ban... <laughs> just ban the mitt then. <laughs> But then we just ban the LQC, no? Right? That's the whole thing with RTA, guys. You can't put it in a vacuum because both players might ban different shit. <clears throat> what up, Silver? You get tankier than 18 defense? I would, even, I would even almost say, like, let's just go pure HP just in case. Um, All right. This is kind of interesting. I thought it would do a lot more than this one, Demon. It's good to see the reference. Maybe, guys, maybe we can get him to live here. Even against an LQC. But anything else less than that, right? If we can somehow interrupt the Aiden. Aiden would need all the buffs, I think. So we need to interrupt like either Vigor buff or like attack up. Just don't hit her with evasion or something. I think, you know what? He might be cooking, dude. Oh, yeah, I thought he said he added the 30%. I thought you added that already, Wind Demon, no? Yeah, he added it. He added it. That would have been silly not to. Which 23k, honestly, I was expecting I was expecting 30k plus, dude. When I saw 30% on top of that, I think I was overestimating LQC. And you gave her pretty good stats, right? What did you say again? Uh 4k 300 crit damage. Is that not, is that does that sound right for like a Tachi LQC, 4K 300 crit damage? Does Ein's debuff apply through immunity? I mean, this is respectable, Volk. You got enough for like a pity, and almost a half. What were you guys asking? 
Oh, the dispel designs debuff apply through immunity. Yeah, the fifty percent seems so bad, dude. Fifteen percent is the worst part. It's not even the thirty percent damage. It's not even the extinction, right? It's just the fifteen percent because then it's like, then you play your unit, and that really highlights why we're annoyed with fi with fifteen percent. Like our entire win con is down, and the fact that we gotta wait how long? Three turns. Just try it again, and then wait 12 turns after that? Oh my god, that's going to be brutal. If you're enveloped, you won't take any damage to the pop. Yeah. Unless it says otherwise, right? It's just Because it just does straight damage. You know what would have been interesting, guys? Instead of doing straight damage... Oh, the weekly's ATA? Sure, let's do that while we chat. What if instead of doing the damage then, it was just like if Toll turns past, the unit dies, right? They could still revive, but then at least... Because let's be real, the, the point of 50,000 is because Smilegate wanted to, to show that unlike Lethe and Dark Corvus, you know, it's supposed to kill the unit no matter what. No matter what. So it would have been nice to just be like, that unit dies. <laughs> Yeah, well, Inori, guess what, man? For a collab, maybe put in a little extra work, dude. You know what I mean? Maybe add a new line of code. Or just remove 15%. How about that? Hello, Mr. Young. It doesn't go through invul since it doesn't go through a shield in the vid. Right, because, it's guys, it's just damage, right? It's just 50,000 damage that isn't affected by mitigation. So, yeah. Why is this not like Lethe's? I agree. Loki though, if you don't bring if you bring him with a mage, S3 wait for his turn, SB twice, S3 again if he lives. Oh yeah, yeah, Sky. There's there's ways we can accelerate the death sentence. I think, guys, the the what we're talking about isn't the death sentence part with the turns is fine, right? Him living is fine. All of that is great. It's just getting to that point. We're talking about even landing the death sentence because of the 15%. That part is what's going to really suck. It's a huge number, guys. That's what? Over 1 in 10 times of your games that's going to happen? <laughs> and let's be real, boys. When you need that shit to land left side, it's going to happen so damn often. It's going to piss people off. And for such an iconic unit, that feels kind of bad. All right, wait, what did it, when you do the guild weeklies? It'll happen when it matters, yeah. Guild check-in, alter. Okay, we haven't been doing any alters. Just use Arnel, creation, and destruction. We just take every two-turn unit in the game, ATK, as much souls for any soul burn extra turns. Yeah, yeah. And only fight opponents that have extra turns as well. Punish them. Or fast opponents. I don't even know what the hell this is, dude. Whatever. Oh, we can quick battle the spirit altar. Guys, imagine I fail this shit. I don't even know if these units... I think they're all geared. Imagine failing spirit altar. I might uninstall if that happens right now. Albedo seems worse than Ainz. A lot of people said that, Ninja. I just want to get the thing done. Fear. Here comes the lag. Does it need to be this slow? <laughs> Kapow. Shaw. Woo. All right. We did it, boys. Yay. Lag battling. What up, Magrock? Um... Call it, what did call say? Is that a meme? Sorry, call. <laughs> um, I think this is referencing what they said in the uh, in the Yuna Kim interview, where she said the entire game is balanced around the fifteen percent. But no, they didn't literally mean if you remove it, guys, that the rest of the code breaks apart, right? Spaghetti code. They didn't mean that. They just meant the the, the idea of game balancing call. How they adjusted energy gains and all that shit was based around this mechanic. 
Because they even mentioned that they could remove it um, from... Did they say they might remove it from PvE later? She said something like that. I don't know. I don't even remember. I, I, the point is, though, I don't think it was spaghetti code. But this is a great meme, dude. 10 out of 10. That's a great-ass meme. Dude, this skip is rigged. I made a 99% team. Never seen it fail on normal runs, but failed to it. There is a bug on it, Raul. Um, I think Tristan found a bug where he had a... He had a team that, like, guarantee failed or something like that. But then they dropped Rift. No, they said they could remove it. Fear Giver. They said they won't for, uh, they said they won't currently, but for future content, they can. Come on, guys. Keep up. And by the way, chat. We're arguing over semantics on what they said. Let's be real. They ain't removing shit, right? So I don't know why y'all are actually me right now. The point is they're not removing it. <laughs> Howdy doody. If they remove the 50%, free to play gets effed in RTA more than we already are. Um, I mean, you eat. Yes and no. Like, 50% guys is not going to really save a F2P in a lot of cases. You need a couple 15% or some other shit to happen, right? I get the mentality of it, but I think I think 15% just is... The pros outweigh the cons, man. Yeah, I'm with Coven, guys. Let's not talk about this too much. We've been down this road, boys. Grow spirit blooms. All right, we'll start this one. Nerf units, nerf units. Number one on the nerfing back, guys. Who is it? Who's on the chopping block? You better not say Abyssal Euphine. Because they've brought out a million units already for her. Isn't that enough? Xeno. Laya. Laya is actually an accurate answer, I think, dude. Uh, candy. Mm. Let's wait for ML Polly, though, right? Let's wait for ML Polly to see those resource units and how impactful she is. But I think Lia is kind of annoying. Fumir. <laughs> no shot. You said Fumir. Uh, they have done worse things since, but in her era, Hua was the worst. You think she was the most oppressive unit of all time, Call? Hua? Even more so than, like, Carrot in her prime? More so than present day, like, Conquer Lilius when she was, like, the top in the meta? Z, uh, I don't think Z, Z was annoying, but I don't think he was ever the top. We're talking about the number one most overpowered unit. What AT? What did it want me to grow? Spirit alt, um, spirit blooms, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. If they nerf units, that I'm quitting, says Sean. Sean. I respect your opinion, but can you tell me why? Is it because you're worried a unit you uh, invested in gets nerfed? But don't you think, like, for the balance state? Because here's the opposite. Here's what happens, Sean, if you don't nerf. You bring out 20 units to counter one unit, and you kind of mess up the game balance because you can't simply just adjust the unit's stats slightly. We're not saying we want... Guys, we all said that the Hua nerf was too much, right? Every sane person said the Hua gutting was too far. We're not talking about that, man. But since we can't even adjust numbers slightly, we have to bring out 20 goddamn units that power creep the meta to fight one problem unit, right? It's just... I think that's way worse. Gab, Arbiter Vildred, come at me. Hello, Meep! Hello, Miss Jez! Show no mercy! Show no mercy! Trist, I know your take on nerfs from a business standpoint, but Tristan, I almost, I would, I think I could convince you that if we had good balancing, right, and we do things very tame, and I literally mean tame, guys, where you slightly adjust numbers and see how it pans out in the long run, like other games do, we could make nerfs happen, man. Easily. It was still kind of loud, no? I even turned it down like 10%. <laughs> but don't worry, Jez. We're going to change that to which one? The Zhongli? 
What up, Jeremy? Hello, Monk Crew. Yeah, for me, no, the unit has gotten so many counters as Arby. The game literally changed after. Oh, that's what. Yeah, they were saying the Gab Arby. Um, you know what? A lot of people forgot about that because that's more of a year one, year two take. Good point, boys. We kind of forgot about the terror that was Arby because he's kind of a, he's an old man at this point like me. What irks me is that they said that they will only nerf as last resort, but here we are releasing 10 plus units to power creep the meta. That's right, okay. Jeremy, that's my exact, that's my entire point, right? Um, but I think that they're actually done with nerfs. That last resort thing, did they say that before or after Hua Young? I think they said that before, no? Uh, I've been playing over five years and they nerfed units left and right. Just make units to counter them. Easy solution. And a lot of people quitted because of nerfs. So, Sean. Um, the problem is, though, they bring out these units that counter them, right, Sean? But they don't do... An like, guys, how many units have been brought out to fight Abyssal Euphine at this point? And she's still... She's still, like, insane. And now we finally need the the final ML5 to hopefully put the last nail in the coffin. It's like, we're also kind of stopping creativity on new character kits because their entire point is to stop an existing character instead of being their unique, their their own original idea, yeah? It's just creating a, a loop where I think if we manage nerfs appropriately, and I know nerfs are hard, guys. It's it's a lose-lose from Smilegate. Nerfs are a lose-lose from Smilegate. But if we cared about balance and things like the WC and tournaments and competitive high-level play, you need nerfs, man. You really do. If you guys are just arguing from a gameplay, a consumer perspective that nerfs are bad, I'm with you. Or a business perspective like Tristan is saying, I'm with you. But for the competitive aspect, we kind of need it. Try putting that nail in the coffin with the MLU Fiend Drafter also has ML Politis. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, they're going to take a note out of the Cleave playbook, right? And just use the units themselves. True. True. I don't trust them doing good nerfs, and that's fair. That's fair. That is very fair. Damn, dude. Draft. I just want to draft Arena all day. Uh, fewer than those were brought out to fight Hua, and fewer still were brought out to fight Arby. So, Tristan, are you saying Abyssal Euphine you think is the most um, the the most oppressive unit to date? In terms of Smile gets reaction to it, I think he's right on that, boys. But overall, I would I think I think people that said Arby, almost just because he's the first one, Arby's got to hold a special title. Yeah, he destroyed the entire Japan server, guys. <laughs> He destroyed an entire server. I don't think you can top that. I think we got to give that title to Arby. I know, boys. Japan becomes the powerhouse of all gacha games. But a lot of them quit because everybody had Arby and the game was not fun at that point, right? It was, it was honestly a shame, memes aside. It was a shame um, Japan didn't quite take to E7 like other games. Nobody has creativity anymore. Kaneki, we're still playing E7, man. Are you waiting? What are you waiting for, AK Journey? Did you check out the Overlord shit? So we should nerf Net Marvel Guy for destroying the entire China server? Jesus, Tristan! Are you still on vacation, man? I'm not disagreeing with you, says Sean, but hear me out. You work so hard building units. I get I get it. Sean, I totally understand your perspective, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing you out. I got you. Nerfs are never fun, dude. Nerfs are never fun. I'm purely talking from a competitive uh, balancing point, right? That's all. Oh, boy. Batuhan Mermi, thank you for that YouTube. So I don't know if he's watching live. He probably just watched the. Uh, he probably just watched the collab video. Jess says, "I think when it comes down to what E7 wants their game to be, PVE or PVP, which you would think PVP because E7 PVP stands out." Um, I want to agree, Jez, but I think we're automatically. Uh, the amount of like just like people that just play on a phone game, they found it through the app store. There's actually a lot of them that just play casually. A lot of us are drawn to E7 because it has good 
I, I almost said good PvP, guys. There was a point in time, right, where E7 was uh, good PvP, I think. And it kind of stood out from the other gacha games. But I don't know if we can still say that. <laughs> Hi, Car. So which hero from collab should we triple S? Well, I'll say this, Coven. Why are you playing E7 RTA and still playing it and still enjoying it and not playing some Seven Knights RTA or whatever the hell else? Why aren't you playing Star Rail PvP, dude? You know what I mean? Whatever else game you're playing. Yeah, don't do your weeklies, guys. Hi, Carson. Which hero from Collab should we triple S? I think, guys, for most y'all, okay? If you don't care about looks... Which, by the way, you're crazy if you don't care about looks in this game. Uh, I think for most of y'all, if you don't care about anything other than power levels, even just safely assuming, I don't know your play style, Shaltier is the safest, okay? Her kit is the easiest. She's the most identifiable, just where to pick her, where to use her. Her passive is stacked. Her kit is just so straightforward. And she gets crit chance imprint, right? And her artifact is very straightforward too, very powerful. So I think you just go for Shaltier if you don't care about anything else. She'll be your safest bet to invest into. <laughs> what up, Severath? You did your weekly? Is that bad? No, Goober, don't worry. It's just for the min maxers. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Monkrew, you're right. Why are we not doing weeklies? It's for the crafting event that's coming out soon, Jess. The epic craft craft event. For E7, yeah, for E7, not uh, AFK Journey. Yeah, I know, Sean. I was actually, because since I like Albedo better, I was hoping she would be first. What up, Grim? That's interesting, Trist. Okay. Um, Albedo's first, yeah. And Albedo will be available in RTA, guys. Before the season ends. Shaltier will not. Bro, is your triple Sing everything? My god, man. Can you, uh... Can you hook your boy up? Reminder that the Forge event starts after the update this Thursday, yeah. It's been one year and a half that we don't have FMA rerun in Espa, so maybe we'll never get it. Yes, Jane Kazama. I guys, I don't know how many times I can say this. The regulars are per they're tired already of me saying this shit, but I gotta say it over and over, okay? I don't know with a hundred percent certainty. But if you're new, if you're lurking, if you're watching right now, you have to be okay with collabs never coming back at this point of the game, alright? I don't know if it'll happen with um Overlord. But Espa, I would bet, right? I would bet it's never coming back. It looks like FMA is never coming back. It looks like collabs are just way more rare. And you got to be okay with not having units if you skip. So you make sure you pull one of everything this time around. Right? And not only that, Jeremy, let me take it one step further, guys. I want to talk with you all about one other thing, right? So let's, Jeremy, let's say Espa never coming back, right? Most of us will agree. So no Rocket Punch, no Karina, whatever, blah, 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 etc. Not only that, guys, but it's looking like this as well. Because it's already been over a year. I was hoping Summoner's War brings um, duplicate units, but in the original IP, right? So essentially what this means is, let's say Summoner's War had Karina. Karina would become... Guys, throw out a random name for a female knight character that would rocket punch people. Give me a random ass name. Throw out a name in chat for me, students. Holly. Holly would be our E7 original character, but exact stats, exact everything as Karina, right? This is what Summoner's War does. So that way, if they can't bring back the collab, people can still get the character. But I don't think this is happening for E7, guys. So instead, 
E7 will just have similar kits to Karina Rocket Punch, man. I don't think we're going to get the duplicate. So you have to be okay. There will never be... There's potentially a never another Albedo, never another Ainz, never another um, whatever, Artifact, all that stuff, okay? Sorry, Silver, you missed out. You're not getting it. Carzette with Spaceship Punch. <laughs> why, why, why Spaceship? But pretty sure Cleaver's Aggros don't want to face two Karinas. You wouldn't have two Karinas, right? Guys, who, where are the Summoner's War players? I'm pretty sure, Jeremy, um, Karina and Holly can't pick both, right? I'm pretty sure they made it so that they you just can't draft both of them together. It's simple, yeah? It's a skin, sure. Yeah, exactly, Call. It's a skin. I Can anyone confirm in, in Summoner's War that they do that? Yeah, don't even worry about that shit. But this is what I was hoping. If they can't bring back Espa because of contractual obligations... Give us a Karina original. Give us a Rocket Punch original that people can get. But thats I don't think it's happening. I don't think that's where Smilegate is going with it. So make sure this time, more than ever, limiteds are actually limited now, boys. Collab limiteds are actually limited. I don't want anyone crying later down the line. Because we already have precedence now, right? It's over a year with no reruns. Bakara, what if the effects of Karina and her artifact are in are in the contract? That could be it too, Kova. You know what? That you're right. Maybe that's part of why they can't have um an original Karina. True. I wouldn't put it past them. That, that I'm not saying the reason, Kova, is just looks like we're not getting it, right? So you might be right, yeah. 40k HP Eaton and Albedo Artifact. Yeah, a lot of people were saying Eaton earlier. What up, display? Yes, I think Call put it best, Jay Burns. Thank you for confirming, but it's functionally just a skin. It'd be like a Karina skin that is a epic, an Orbis original, right? Holly would be <laughs> a skin for Karina that's a, a an E7 character. All right, um, making history first. Limited ML and ML already. Never Kazuna, yeah, Rip Kazuna. Also, collab and non-collab can be fed into each other as skill-ups. It's like having a dupe with different skin on. Oh, in Summoner's War, you can do that? Okay, cool. Yeah, so they're 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 the same unit. You can't pick both of them at the same time. Cool. All right, guys. Anything else? Otherwise, we're going to AFK Journey here soon. How long till reset? Yeah, we got to AFK Journey here pretty soon. Jez, no, we're excited for E7. We're not chucking it in the bin. This is the first time I've seen people excited about E7. Oh, chuck it. Storm, you're still hoping? Like I said, I can't speak with any certainty. I don't know anything uh, for a fact. But uh, Storm, it's looking very likely, right? Oh wait, Storm, you're agreeing with me. Sorry, did I misinterpret that? You're saying you you, you also think there will be no um, Karina, uh, uh, there will be no E7 original Karina? So is ML Poly going to change the units now? ML Poly, guys, is we're kind of overlooking this, and I hope I'm wrong. ML Poly is just going to kill even the last bit of creativity from the people that like to have fun in the game, man. Her passive is so powerful, it just cuts off like anyone. There's so many people getting caught in the crosshair that shouldn't be uh, affected just because we can't nerf Abyssal Euphine, man. Kari, looking forward to climbing an RTA? I'm looking forward to a... I, dude, I don't even know. AT, I don't even know if at this point I can get a quick Masters anymore, man. <laughs> Oh lord. Imagine if collab units had confirmed E7 versions would kill profits for the collab because why spend on a functional skin? Well, it, is a, it doesn't matter, Storm, what, you're, what the reasoning is. We have precedence, guys. Summoner's War did it for multiple collabs, and they are what E7 is modeled after, you know? So you don't need to think too hard on this, brother. It's been done. To great effect. 
It just looks like Smallgate isn't doing that for whatever reason that might be. All of them, says Jay Burns. Jesus. All of them. Okay. All the collabs haven't been done that. Okay. All I know is I'm on pity stance. I'm definitely going to get... Yeah, you have to get ML Poly if you play uh, any type of PvP. I know. I remember the screenshot, ATK, of the Master Climb. Jesus, my Rana got sealed. Get ready for the next season and new summer units. Don't worry, the summer event is coming right now, guys. We got the Lethe summer event coming right up. No, Knockwell's not limited. It always confuses me, too. Leaf check? Grim, I don't think I have very... Let me look at my Leafs after this match. Which I might be dead, honestly. Summer Soli. Not Summer Politis? Or, sorry, not Polit... Um, you guys don't think it's the Summer Senya? Some of chat was saying Summer Senya the other day. Dude, I haven't even been buying the Burning Leaf Passion Packs. I kind of regret it. Hello, Moon. They're not literally Ryan, but there's going to be a similar event. And I'm assuming they're just copy-pasting it. It looks almost the same where you, uh, during the collab, you can get some gear. Of specific sets, right? Almost exactly how the Lethe one was. Grim was right all along. I've never heard that in my life. What was he right about? That's a rare sentence. Doesn't she reference Dragon King Sharoon? Yeah. Yes, she's very tied to DK Sharoon. What up, Nathacrit? That bad and what? What are you talking about? How many separate copies of Abedo and Shaltir do we need in your opinion? Guys, you don't you only need one copy. Um, but if you have extra, I would recommend you pull for your favorite for the extras. Get one of everything though. And maybe for the artifact, this is the important part, the artifact Jin Kazama. Because guys, you only ever need one unit, right? Unless you are pushing for WC. You only need one copy of a unit. The artifact though is where you want multiples because you want either on two separate units or you want to like max one and have one spare just in case right because you can always bottle but you can only bottle one copy so you need at least two if you plan the future to ever have that on more than one unit uh how does ml poly work does she slow down fast units like ran or is it after she uses her skills wait what are we sean what are we talking about the resource reduction one maxed Albedo and two shelter. Jay, you're you're gonna are you excited for Albedo? I didn't hear your take actually. You're more excited for Albedo than Shelter. That would make sense. I know your play style, but most people think she's not gonna be great. Oh, that's what he means by the slowdown greater? I thought he was talking about the re the fifty percent resource reduction. Sorry, uh Sean, I, I don't even remember her kit, man. I don't plan to play her too much. Unless his garden ice crystals are guiding light. What about those mech? You're saying we want more than two copies? I I regret not getting more garden ice crystals, yeah. I actually you know what? I don't know. It's not that I don't regret it. I tried. Every event that Amelia came out in, man, in the rerun, I would pull, but I didn't get any luck. I had to bottle that shit. I think I pitied Amelia without getting a single arty. Or his off banner artifacts, man. God damn guys. Y'all just reminded me of off-banner artifacts. We still have no quality of life for off-banner arties. Oh, God. I got Triple S Amelia. I've never pulled Garden Ask. Yeah, ATK, isn't that such a shame? That happened to me with Rengar's drink. The very first time. <laughs> Emma Polly's overpowered version is with permanent guiding light. And yet you say Honkai Star Rail banners are bad. <laughs> All right, I don't want to get into a Honkai versus E7 argument, Jez. This never ends well. Uh, 
No, Ran should still be first shot unless I'm missing something. She doesn't impact any speed, just resource reduction. So whoever's fastest still goes first. It's not like a Zeo effect. Maximum Marnie about 500. I remember that actually, Call the, the Knuckles. I think I remember watching you play that. All right, guys. Any last minute things on E7? We'll talk more tomorrow, but dude, I am hyped, boys. Finally, man. It only took a goddamn year. But finally, we're back on the table. Now, chat. I don't want to ruin anyone's hype. But I think Smilegate, once the hype starts wearing down, right? Maybe in... When is the collab going to end? About three weeks? A month? After about a month. Smilegate, if they can get something else, like the Rift. Summer events. Maybe some good balancing. Maybe some quality of life stuff we've been asking for. If they can keep this train, this momentum going, we're actually back on back on the board, right? But if it's Overlord into nothing again, we'll see. I hope that's not the case. Awaken potential round two. You know what? If it's a more balanced one, Coven, bring it on, man. A new hey, guys, add a new riff plus other stuff. <laughs> How will you gear Ein's hitting ghost? We were doing some calculations on uh, Ein's survivability. Um, you really just want to make sure he lives first and foremost. Second, you want to make sure he has enough effectiveness because he can get 15%ed. And on top of that, you don't want to get your shit resisted randomly. Um, so just a shit ton of, um, effective HP. I don't know how much HP versus defense yet. And then enough effectiveness in ER, maybe like a hundred ER. I think more than that would be tough unless you plan to run his artifact. I don't know yet. Just essentially very tanky, very, very tanky. Zero damage, of course. Maybe they will release Brinus as the new hero. Copium for oh, sure. Oh, we were man. doing a lowly team. Yo, is that Mr. Oh, Iron? Yeah. Iron, thank you so much for the 10 months, homie. Much love, dude. I appreciate it. FMA will probably never come back either. Yeah. Well, actually, um, guys, if I have to guess, I think Espa for sure never. I think that's the one we'll say will never come back. FMA also looking unlikely. Um... Are we over... Guys, was Guilty Gear... Has it already been over a year for Guilty Gear 2? Maybe ReZero and Slime at least. If those are still worth it for both parties. We'll see. But I think even Guilty Gear... I think it, I think we're overdue for that, right? Oh, August or Trist, still a chance? It didn't get one last year, Grim. I don't think, right? Guilty Gear didn't happen last August. Because we had a year of no reruns. Or was it a year of no new collab? I might be getting that mixed up, Grim. You might be right. Um, keep waiting for more FMA Edward copies. Sorry, guys. Hopefully, it comes back. Because Trish said it made good money, but it's it's over. It's well over a year at this point, right? FMA was even before Espa, guys. How's, how long has it been? A year and a half now since Full Metal Alchemist. Holy crap! Holy crap! Yeah, oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, Trist. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to swap games. We'll talk more E7 tomorrow, boys. Start hoarding those bookmarks. Last PSA, don't do your weekly if you haven't done it yet, okay? Save that for the Reforge event. Crafting event. All righty. Triple S Albedo. Yeah, well, you know what, Alki and Coven? Fuck you guys. I love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. But fuck you guys. All right, journeyers. Let's go on an AFK journey together. Everyone's leaving. Uh, 5 million power. 10 million power. 300 resonance. F2P. Nah, I don't want to be too trolly. New players, welcome. <laughs> coming all right
category AFK journey. We gotta get we gotta get some uh, games in, dude. All right, Joe, tell me the secret. How the hell did you go from? You were kind of where I was at, and then I I kind of took like two days of a break over the weekend, not really playing too hard. And now you're five mil, six mil power, top ten in arena. What the hell did you do? Help me, Joe. If it doesn't only involve spending ten thousand dollars, please help me. What the hell did you do? Besides money, Meep. Besides money. Because I've spent a little bit. I've spent a decent chunk of change too, okay? Not as much as Joe. But I've spent a little bit here and there. Actually, I got... <laughs> I've spent a little chunk of change here. Where's Amdog too? I need to talk with Amdog. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Coven. I honestly do appreciate you, man. Even though y'all were trolly as hell today. My God, guys, what is it about? Is it, is it AFK journey? What is happening, dude? No, ATK, this time I'm actually being serious. Like the YouTube, it's like when we swapped AFK journey, man. So for some reason that brings out like, <laughs> brings out YouTube trolls, dude. All right. Where were we at? Where the hell were we at, man? Get a little music going. Okay. I want to do some honor dueling. Oh, God. We didn't do honor dueling, boys. We got to go straight into that. All right, Joe. What kind of tips do you have for chat? Do all your side quests. Chest the shop for gear improvement. Joe, that's your secret from to triple your power level? Ah, journey pee pee down. Shut up, Volk. Joe's secret is do, do your quests. All right, guys, this is some troll ass shit. I have a Leica team here. I think it's going to be terrible, but you know what? Let's rock it. We're just playing around Leica. Gives you resonance. All right, Joe, I will complete. I will do all the side story shit. And I'll be 5 million power like you, right? When I'm done. Nice. That sounds good to me, dude. That sounds good to me, brother. Uh, I think we're dead. This is a shit run already, I can tell. I mean, Joe, I didn't... I think I only missed, like, doing the guild attack. I might have missed the primal boss, which was bad. I'll agree with you, that's bad. But, I mean, I was still, like... I did most of the dailies, and I got... You know, it's AFK Journey. Shouldn't I get power while I'm AFK? Come to protect. Are you lost? Are you lost? Well, I mean, check out my latest invention. The most beautiful flowers can have the sharpest thorns. He's a liar. Wait, Ghoul, you're through 3.2? Jesus, man. Ghoul, how much have you spent? You don't you don't have to say if you if you don't want, but I, I'm curious. Should I just put Lamont here just to fuck with him? I think I should. And then Entendre over protect. here, just in case he puts something on the side. One fifty, cool. Then you—that's actually very impressive, because you're ahead of me and I've spent more than you. But I did, yeah, like I said. I fell really far behind over the weekend. Zvi, are you enjoying the AFK journey, man? This light, you know, right, Rising. Is it the same company as this light? I know it's the same company as AFK Arena. Wait, how did he pull me in? What happened? Jesus, man. My team is so ass. How does my opponent start with... How does my opponent start with Thorin and fucking Smokey and Mirky, dude? And Granny. Meanwhile, I have the most ragtap. I get the most garbage ass. He has the best tank and healers in the game. This is some bullshit. Yeah, Zvi, go, go check it out, dude. I think you'll enjoy it. All right. Um...
I don't even want to play this one, man. I think we should just leave this shit. <laughs> I'm about to just yield this one out, dude. This is hopeless. I have like a Leica centric team and all I see. I need to fish for wilders. There we go. He win. Okay. Let's go get that he win dupe. Damien he win like a comp with maybe uh Entendre. Brutus as frontline or some shit. Do something like that. We have Brian as well. Okay. Get Lamont out of here, dude. I hate Lamont. Jess, I thought you were ahead of me too, no? Lilith is a company that owns the AFK franchise. Yeah, but did Lilith did Lilith do Dislight? No, Sean, I haven't ran into YDCB yet. YD tries it out every game, but I don't know if he's actually playing AFK Journey like a lot. They did? Okay, cool, Rue. Kind of makes sense, right? Uh, are you calling me? Are you calling me? Um, like a Brian on Tundra. We'll just do four a four one setup or something. Are you lost? Follow me. Oh no, I'm ahead of you. Then I'm ahead of you, Jez. You're catching up though. Okay, he's got Igor. He's gonna jump around like an asshole, like an absolute maniac. I come to protect. The most beautiful flowers can have the sharpest thorns. Thank you, Burrito. I got you. God, dude, and Hewin is so slow. Can she please ult? Hewin, please ult! She died, man! I gotta play some farther back or something, dude. This is crazy. This is cringe. All right, we have one life, dude. I'm actually going to go zero and three. Are you shitting me right now? If I just place a little farther back, I think he went. He went had her full bar, dude. She just needed one ult and we win that. Okay. Laika, you are so useless. Increase all allied hero, wilder heroes with normal attack damage. Increase all allied heroes normal attack damage by 30%, 30 seconds out. Okay, we'll do this one. I think that means we shift to Brian then instead of the uh, other girl. Speaking of Brian, there we go. Uh, lock this. Pray to God we win this match, guys. Otherwise, it is Jover for us. It is over. We need to get Grandma. You know what? I shouldn't have bought this. We should have went for the 33 to get Grandma. Yeah, Wailing won't help in this mode. Wow. <laughs> Shut up, Volcanics. Turkey, Turkey Jr., welcome on in. Thank you for that follow. There we go, boys. Come back. Mount this goddamn comeback. Where is this game? What do you mean? This is called AFK Journey. It has a dedicated client. Okay, let's set up farther back. Make him come all the way around to us. Because he win takes a goddamn year to ult. Check out my latest invention. Are you lost? Follow me. Follow me. Come to protect. Got it. All right, boys, we win this one, dude. No shot, I lose this. No shot, we lose this one, man. We're about to wreck. If I can just get a tank, if I just get a front line, guys, it's over. Please. Good, Good Entendre. He went ult. Thank you. Okay, we win. We win. Surely. Yep, it's over. Why? We just, what happened? This is my last time posting this. Sorry, burrito. Did I miss it before?
Yeah, Sean, I saw that Astro Knights of uh, Leto. We were watching about it, or we were watching the gameplay. It. Uh, it's very, it's very unique looking. Brita, what did you want me to check out here? And just what did I, what did I miss? Oh, for AFK Arena! Please, dude. Brita, was she good? Was she good in AFK Arena? Oh my god, boys. I can't wait. Imagine E7 collab, and then we get AFK Journey collab with the Overlord characters. Ainz was a god in AFK Arena. We got two grannies. I think we can play both, right, ATK? It just, it might become the side game. I think that's the play. Guys, last time I didn't grab these Greaves and I regretted it. The problem is if I buy these, they don't give Hewin any value, but I think we need Hewin to get some haste or we lose. So I have to buy this now and pray we get another one. But they're kind of common, so... Let's hope. Let's pray. Okay, just let me let me double check. Had to take a call as you mentioned if there are any packs you want. Jez, you know you don't gotta do that. I'm sorry I did don't know while you're there. It's because Jez, I'm getting my ass whooped, okay? You and Joe Pet somehow are just better than me at this game, so I gotta focus up. Get behind me, children. Jess, how about this? I'll show you what I've spent already. <laughs> I might have bought all the value packs already. <laughs> But I really appreciate the offer. I'll take a look after. All right, guys. We have to win this one. We're on our last life, man. We're on our last life. So. Let's see where he places first, actually. And we'll just do our core in the background again. Like a Brian. Actually, not Brian. He win. Damien. See what he does. Some stargaze. All right, Jess, I'll take a look. Let me take a look. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm not sure building collab units was weird in Arena, so I got her, but never built her. Ein was OP, so I'm assuming she was too. Sean says, have you whaled? Yes, I have, man. I have. Um, I whale, and yet I play this mode where the whaling has nothing to do with it. <laughs> this is my favorite mode, and the whaling doesn't matter here. Okay, I think Granny in the front then. This should be pretty good. Igor's going to jump on us, but not much we can do about that. And then I think we place Brian here on the left flank. His team looks pretty solid, though. If this girl ults, it is over for us. Free to play plus. That's correct. Just like Joe Pet. Jez, before... um. Is your, uh, Jez, is your Reiner Mythic Plus? So much animosity. <laughs> no, Joe. Animosity is Lucina. I'm just giving you shit, right? Friendly rivalry. Damn, we were crushing, guys. I told y'all. If he win just ults and we have Granny, we got this, man. Jez, but um, he only needs one dupe per upgrade, right? So are you legendary plus? All right, we need boots. Recovers your energy for every ultimate cast. Uh, I kind of want to buy this, but I think we should just go for dupes, guys. Because that'll also upgrade our... We need Leica dupes, big time. No granny, but like it got upgraded. Okay, we need to buy this. Let's sell. Need to sell one unit. Sorry, Entendre. Wait, I need to sell two units. 
Brutus and Entendre. I hate smelly whales. Well, they make me feel homeless. Moon, don't. Moon, don't don't hate, don't hate on the whales. Does a version of AFK just need copies of units, not the extra plus unit stuff? Uh, Aranox, welcome on in. The plus, I didn't play AFK Arena, so I don't know what you're talking about with the extra plus unit. But so far, um, no, sorry, there is those. What do you call them, guys? The badges or the um, the acorn things? I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Listen, Car, I'm okay with you being free to play, but you already lost your gotcha, gotcha genity. Once lost, you can't get it back. I can be born again. I can be a born again. Oh my god, what does that look? Sorry, that was rude. Get behind me, children. Get behind me, children. Get behind me, children. Are you lost? Follow me. Oh, are you calling me? Oceanic spell. Wait, why? Joe Pet, what happened over there? Why did he get banned? <laughs> I'm actually surprised. Check out my latest invention. My latest invention. Got it. Give me the list, ATA. What are we looking at here? Who's banned from what? Yeah. Uh, business commerce. That was my start, dude. I went against a Thorin, Smoky and Mirky. I didn't even have a single tanker healer, dude. It happens. Who's Shadobi? Do we know why Evan was banned or no? Evan can kind of be trolly though, right? He says some stuff sometimes. Chrysler case for you and allies within two. I kind of like this. Uh, I think I might lock this and see what we get. Because he's a hate watcher. <laughs> I could definitely see Evan getting into some shit. I'm not surprised. Um, I don't think we're going to go Arden, but maybe I get this just to upgrade our... Fuck it. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll go Arden over like... Uh, Damien. Who's Evan, Jez? Evan Dariel. You know Evan Dariel. Fuck it. Forget those boots. Uh, I don't know if that was worth it, actually. We have no items, guys. We're doing an itemless run. And I have one boot that's not doing anything until I get more boots. I thought these were more common. Oh, sorry, Jez. After this one. After this one. Let me look at the... Um, <laughs> I'll show you what I've bought so far. And I want Joe Pet and Jez to, to tell me if there's any packs that I uh, that they've got that I, ha that I missed out on. <laughs> All right, Granny in front, Check Damien in the back, Laika, because she will always be placed somewhere, put her in the middle, over here. Joe, can I see a screenshot of your of your store, please? Is it actually every pack? AJZ, <laughs> Connor might have banned Lucina because he thought Lucina was stream sniping him. I mean, I'm sure they probably did here and there, no? Like, I know Charfade loves doing that shit. Uh, are you calling me? Got it. Got it. Hello, Elmo. Mythic Grandma? Dude, we need that. I actually need Mythic Grandma. 
Black is about to die here early because he went is so goddamn slow. He went, please ult, please ult. Okay, Granny got her ult off. I need Hewen ult right now, though. Boys, if we don't get her the boots, we have no shot at winning these, but we win from here. Pretty sure we win from here, although our opponent's kind of tanky, too. All right, he's dead. Jez, we played a lot of 2F together, too, and then uh, our group quit, sadly. All right, let's buy some items. Fuck it. Please, give me some haste. I need some haste, man. How have I not gotten these boots? Gas ultimate once without costing energy. Oh, this is great. This is so good for... um. That's actually what we needed. We cast her ult, but then we don't care. Oh, hold on. Let's go look at the packs. Let's go look at the packs. AFK Arena is a nightmare to upgrade units. Like, you need 20 plus dupes and like a million fodder to max a character. Been playing Arena for years. And I just got my max first max star engravement. Um, Burrito, do you know if that's equivalent to Supreme Plus or that's even higher? I heard Joe talking about something Paragon in the guild chat. Joe, what the hell were you talking about here? Oh, also guys, I need, I need y'all's help with this thing, the corrupt creatures. Paragon 25. Do you have that already? Show us the wailing evidence. All right, ATK. Uh, guys, I swear though. After whatever Jez is about to do, we are free to play after that. Right, chat? We are free to play after this. Okay, so on the top row, I only bought this thing. Is there something here good, Jez or Joe, that I should get? We only bought one, dude. Look at that. Only one, chat. Only one out of the ten, dude. Aren't y'all proud of me? Now, on the limited bundles, though. Oh, no. I only bought... No, free. These are free, dude. Wait, where's the... Uh... Oh, guys. Did they remove all the... Joe, all that stuff is gone. No, I'm not... Guys, I'm not covering up. It removed it. I'm not trying to hide anything. They actually... um, The shit I bought is gone. There was like the... I, I got that pack that came with a chest for an S-rank hero or something. You know what I'm talking about? How come I don't see it? Anyways... Joe, tell me. Jez is asking. Jez is asking what we should pick up. What's the best value here? What's going to give me the power? What's the most power? Tell tell me how to catch up to you, dude. Better to wear here than an E7. I was I was honest with ATK when I said like I don't really feel I don't know if I'll ever get back to like triple Sing units, you know? Just cuz RTA is so not fun for me right now. The weekly bundle with the essence. Is that the whale play? This one? Runestone? Money, oh my money, God. money. Jez, what the hell? That was way Get too much. some skills. Also a gift, cause I was gone for like three months. Aha. Uh -huh. And I love supporting my boomer twin. Boomer twin. We are, we are boomer twins. Jez, I was going to ask just for this. How much is 550? I already had 200. I don't want to dox myself because uh, it's going to show all my payment info. Just, I was going to ask for 20 bucks. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Well, Joe, okay. Jess, just so I get something here, Joe's going to Joe's gonna guide me. Let's, uh, if you also don't know the whaling tips. This one, Joe? Weekly bundle? I know you know, ATK, but there's, you know, some of you guys know everything, right? Literally, some of y'all drove to my house. That's fine. Okay, so this one, right? Um, actually, Jez, I need to send you the new address. 
just in case you ever plan to visit. Oh, and also remind me, we had a, there's an Australian candy that's not Tim Tams that um, Ink actually loved. I need to show it to you if you know it. Hoochie Street. Tristan, how was the rest of the vacation, man? I'm going to be taking off this uh, this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, Joe. Uh, you said I'm in bi-weekly. Fuck. No, Joe, that was weekly. Oh, sorry, sorry. I see what you're saying. My God, there's another tab, dude. You're talking about this one. This one. Oh, for the powder. They sell powder? I didn't even know that. I was looking for powder shit. Jez, this is where Joe's saying... What residence are you, Joe? Now I see the secret. I honestly didn't know they sell powder in the shop, dude. That's why I was so surprised that they were so far ahead. Okay, okay. All right, Jez, after this, um, after the reset, we'll, we'll pick some of that up. Thank you again. That was way too generous. All right, boys, let's finish up the honor duel run. Where are we at? Took this from the boat. Tris, let me see. Damn, that is gorgeous. Chad, have y'all been to Niagara Falls? This is kind of one of the destination trips here in the U.S., right? That a lot of people go to. Um, Tris, would you recommend... Like on a bucket list, Tris, where would this rank on like must go? I've never been, Joe. I've never been. My family, I don't think really... I bet my parents have been there. But as kids, we never like... If we were going to destination stuff, it was always like Disney World. You know what I mean? Disneyland or something. Yeah, I... I so give it to me honest. Just how, what was your rating after going? Must see once, at least once. That's a beautiful picture. Okay, we're, we're feeling much better, guys. We got some items now. Put this onto Brian. Put the stats onto Granny. And we just throw this on whoever because this will actually give bonus stats here from the Dusty Metal. Because it is an epic piece of equipment. Even if it's not working. You have to go under a cave. ATK, hey, let's go together, man. One of these days, dude. At least I'll be a reason to meet up. Maybe in a couple years. After this Japan trip, I gotta save again. <laughs> Tris, how about that, dude? Guys, that's our that's gonna be our Baka Guild meetup, Niagara Falls. You're invited, Jez. Let's go. Is there anything else to do though besides hiking? Chaotic, you're down? Alright. I'm being serious, by the way. Not anytime soon, but in the future. Okay, let's focus up, guys. We got to win. Let's get a nine-win streak. Um, shit, I'm out of time here. Uh, are you calling me? Check out my latest invention. Uh, fuck. Are you lost? Follow me. Check out my latest invention. I don't like. I hate this. I hate this setup. Okay, he's being more defensive. That's very good for me, at least. I have a feeling, though, he has a Sylvina. This guy has such an aggressive setup. And Wilders don't really have a second frontliner besides Iron. We're just going to risk it all. Let's go. Can it? Oh, that's right. It's on the Tristan. I didn't even know. I, I even forgot where it was at. It's on the border, right? Oh my god, I'm getting demo- Guys, I'm finding people that have mythic CC already, like... Hell yeah, AZ confirmed. Confirmed rates are good. Thank you for that conclusive evidence. Oh my god, we suck, man. I Guys, I haven't been playing Honor Duel. Like, part of it is luck, but I think I'm also just not playing very well. We need to get these nine wins in the bag. BNG, thank you so much, man. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Alright, uh, what was I doing here? Check the event. 
Galaxy, I agree. There is some RNG to it, but I don't want to blame all of it on RNG, right, guys? Because that's where you fall into a trap where... Hello? I did Honor Duel today. Is it because I started it yesterday? I didn't get any credit from that. I actually like this setup here. Oh god. Wait, ATK, can I does it give me at least something now that I started this or I have to play one match? Okay, we did get something at least. Alright. Um Can I still finish this guys if I miss the day? I hope I can. I need to just honor duel off stream or we need to start AFK journey earlier before reset. I keep missing this shit. Anyways, all right, let's honor duel till the reset. But yeah, Galaxy, let me talk more on that. Welcome on in, dude. Um, I'll talk more about what I mean. Jez, you just can't blame me because over. I'm like, I'm actually, it actually feels good to stream E7 again with people um, talking and being excited about shit. So we stayed on a little longer. <laughs> no chucking yet, guys. It was actually a joy to uh, talk about E7 today. Yeah, he's in he's in our guild, Rob. Okay, a uh, bit about position counter, but sometimes you just get handed a worse. Of course, Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, that part is a hundred percent true, and I kind of saw that in two opponents last game. But at the same time, right, guys? Just like draft modes in other games, if you guys ever played card games, Hearthstone, Magic: The Gathering. Even like TFT, right? A lot of it is, though. Like, it's like this, right? Um, Galaxy, you might have an unbeatable opponent just because he got way luckier. There's no shot in hell you can win. However, in that same set of circumstances, right? One player might go 6-3 and three with the worst luck, while another player goes 0-3. and three. You get what I'm saying? Some people can manage the bad luck. A good player will manage the bad luck a lot better. Um, I don't know if there's enough variance in Honor Duel for that. But I do like that kind of aspect of the game. Alright, I think we have to get a random 18 here just to get another unit on the board. Uh, I mean, Rowan Mirky is kind of nice. Maybe that'll be the crux of our support. We need an actually good tank though that's not Lamont. We need either Grandma... Grandma and Tondra. Oh shit, I just realized though. Our faction bonus is going to be kind of messed up here. What's up, Tomoya? Any of the collab units good for new player progression? Tomoya, you talking about Epic 7 stuff? Um. Not really. I think uh, Shaltier can be just good as a damage dealer. But she's single target only. Ainz is definitely not a PvE unit. Uh, although maybe Ainz can can kind of cheese out some of like the difficult floors or stages, but not really. Collab units typically are designed for a specific purpose, um, and progression is a lot of free to play stuff you can get. That's exactly what I was actually thinking of. Volcanics. Do you know his health? Do you know his health? Because maybe we could cheese like difficult floors that kind of block you. Come on. Who else needs a little pick me up? A little pick me up. Potions for sale. Buy four, get one free. Hey, reset it. Galaxy, did you get anything? Check your summons and free stuff, guys. Let me know if y'all pull anything on the reset. <sighs> Time for work again. Okay, so we have three maulers. We could just go for a three two setup. Um, I don't have a lot of damage though if I don't take you know fuck it. Come on, you'll need my spear. I hate Lamont though. He's gonna immediately leave Smokey and Mirky's heal range. Don't worry, your delivery's coming up. Good luck, Galaxy. I had that yesterday. I think I got Brutus. I have yet to beat a single pity since launch on on AOP Journey Commerce. I'm sorry, man. That's pretty rough, dude. I 
I hit a lot of pities too, but I've had some extreme luck. Like, I, I was pulling for Vala last night, and I think I got pretty lucky. Iron Parisa? Is that what we're fighting? I think we got this, though, unless it ties. Rowan is out in no man's land. All right, we kill Lucius. What up, Desroth? So, Des, I never played AFK Arena, but I heard about that. I heard about that shit. Surely, right, AFK Journey will learn from that and not have that happen? Joe, did he stall you out? Did you get that ass stalled out? All right, let's check the reset stuff. I got to get some nine wins here, though, soon, boys. We got to play better. Jez, I think I know where your first uh, investment is going into. Anything with Hero Essence, I think, is the play. Right, Joe? All right. I think I know where your first, uh, where we're throwing it into. Okay. Yo, congrats, Alki. Big. I got a uh, Mythic Plus last night, too, and it was such an upgrade. E7. Oh, Des, I was saying AFK Journey. I'm hoping it comes back to AFK Journey. Probably my big ass my share new. Ooh. I don't think you showed me this one. How how big is big ass? Respectfully. You, you know I'm particular on the face. And they actually did a um a more hyper realistic version of her, right? Less anime, more realist. And it looks really good. Remember the fighting game ones I was showing you? With the Kami and the, uh, was it Chun-Li? They kind of butcher the faces sometimes. She looks really good, though. God damn. Yeah, let's hope for a safe arrival. You got Supreme Plus Galaxy? Very nice. Um, I don't think I have any summons, but let's look. Let's see what we got. Where's Jez at? Is she busy? Jez, give it a try, man. If you liked AFK Arena. The launch has been great. And I need more people that play AFK Arena to tell me, like, the trajectory for, like, following a good path. Jez, you get any uh, login stuff? Okay, we have one ten. We have one recruit here, and it's going to be a guaranteed. Guys, give me Cecia. Then I can Supreme Plus her. One in five, guys. CC of time. Give him a dude. All right, Red, if it's a dude, would you prefer the, the Shota child? Or the elf? Elf man with horns. Oh, a Smokey, too. You're right. There's Smokey. He's a furry. Here we go. Shota child. Hold on. Actually, for the clip. Red, let me double check real fast if I even need Rowan. In yes, Rowan will actually Supreme Plus us too if I get it. Alright. Red, first off, how you feeling? You missed oh, yeah. the Overlord talk, man. For my customers. I wanted to hear your uh, your take while everyone was talking. Most people are excited though, dude. They like the overall collab. I know you weren't super big on it. Rowan is insane here, Des. Usable in like all modes. Because he accelerates the, uh, the ults, the energy. Here we go, come on. No Shota, please. Show me the Graveborn feet, dude. You know how they show her feet in the beginning? Feet, 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 feet. Those zombie toes, dude. Welcome to my shop. How can I help you? <sighs> All right, at least we get to get him out of the pool. We got, tr we got Supreme Plus. Jesus Christ, man. That would have been Supreme Plus Cecia, boys. Okay. Thank you so much, Red. Let's get him out of here for... I kind of want Shakir dupes. What do you guys think, chat? Joe, what are you going for? What's the best duped unit here? 
I know Tamija and Shakira are both used in some um, emerald or some dream bosses, right? Volcanics, I said undead feet, dude. I said zombie feet. What about some A rank? I was... Greater, that's actually might be the play. Guys, have any of y'all put... um Joe, have you put any A ranks in here? How does that work? Does that mean like I guarantee you get any A rank that pop up will be the one I want here? So if I put in Odie... You had Od... I think I should do this just to make sure I get it. Hello, another dollar. Masco, I dude, I got CC from the 14 day Logner War and I already got her Supreme Plus. Um... I mean, that's still good, right? Ghoul, she, you get some stats for her. I would have taken that over, like, my Byron dupe. And at least now she's out of the pool, right? So you won't get any more for sure from that event. Diamond, you think it's a waste, really? You know Odie's one of the most insane units, right? Oh, if we get a let... Okay, never mind. Diamond might be right then. Um, so if we pull a let... So if we pull a legendary... Joe, if I get a legendary... And it rolls Odie, it would be five Odies. But I don't get like free Odie purples for having him here, right? Okay. I think then I'd rather just go for these, this lineup. And uh, we'll max out Odie from the, um, from the other shit. All right, how's our guild doing? Am I, do I need to kick anybody? My lean, two days. All right, I don't know who my lean is. I think they said don't kick them the other day, but uh, two days is a little long. Jez, you will you will never be kicked. You and Joe Pet need to carry us, please. And Amdog. Zyan, were you at two days? You were about to get kicked, brother. I'm not going to lie. All right, who was waiting? Who wanted to join us? Wasn't there someone waiting? Either way, let them know, Joe, or anyone. Uh, let them know we have a spot now. Oh, I can't even kick them right now. By the way, let me congratulate our members real fast. Kiana, Zayan, Lucina, very good job on Honor Duel. Dream Realm, good job, Joe Pet, Dog, and Jez. I do have a little five points in there, though. You know, I got a little five points in the glory, too. I'm put. I'm doing my part. In the arena, Joe, you are a monster. You're the only one. Arcane Labyrinth. I should have points here. I'm in the top 100. I don't know why I haven't gotten points here yet. Okay, who's in Nazarick? Zai. <laughs> who's in Nazarick? I do a Joe. Yeah, I, if it's whaling advice, I'm definitely listening to Joe Pet. The Supreme Plus Red. Dude, you know, you and I both would do all those commercials, man. I wish they would ask me to do more of those. All right, let's look at this. Let's look at this setup. Oh, guild battles. All right, Skyclops. Um, let's check the. Was this the team I used last time? I think I think we're pretty good on this mode. But I should wait till we max out. Let's double check real fast though. Skyclops is today, guys, and we want to do. Yeah, I think this is the one where we do the um, smoky tank and just have triple DPS setup. Kruger debuffs. Okay. Oh wait, but I think instead of You'll need my spear. I think instead of corn until we get his weapon, we use cocoa. Let's go take it to him. Something like that. I don't even know, AD, I don't even know if FG3000 plays anymore, man. We already had one guy leave for that. And I don't even know if FG's still playing, dude. Baka 3000. One time before you die? Red, if you, it'll, it'll happen, I think. Inventory. Oh, Jesus. Here you go, Red. Ready for uh, Supreme Plus, dude? Am I On the Shota? Oh, yes. Gifts for my customers. 
Aranox, we're on server 7, man. Every it does matter if you want to join. Spent. Rowan places one more health potion when a battle starts. Cool. Nice. I'm so glad I got Rowan before Cecia, dude. I actually, guys, Joe, where's Joe and Jez? I skipped this last time. Joe says buy it in all cap. All right, Joe. Okay, so this one plus the weekly thing, right? All right. Two hours. <laughs> okay, we will. I want to stream a little longer, though, but right after, Jez, I will buy it. I'll buy it. Thank you again. Okay, let's finish this honor duel, and then um, I'm going to go eat dinner. Yo, Hein, I'm not gonna lie, I was pissed I got this dude to Supreme Plus and the next day I got one for free. Yeah, someone just said that. Who was it? Burrito? Someone said that happened to them with Cecia. I'm sorry, dude. The thing with the event, though, Hein, it's like... It was cool. Sorry, it was cool. Um, I wouldn't sweat it too much, man. One, she now, now he's out of the pool for you. And at least it gives some stats, right? It gives some little stats. I said, Hein, I was pissed I got a Brian. That I'm never going to use, at least for now. I would have actually taken uh, something that gives me some bonus stats, at least, for a unit I'm using. Alright, what am I? was my setup here? We're going to go a Mauler-centric comp with Rowan. We need a stronger frontliner, though. Oh, dude. What if we did Graveborn, guys? Graveborn setup? With Smokey and Rowan. Joe, I need to refresh though, because. Okay, maybe we'll get Cecia, because Rowan and Cecia is not bad actually together. But I. Fuck it. I need one more Graveborn. <gasps> we don't have enough to buy this yet. Okay, it's fine. Lock that. Which one's the horse girl ATK? Satrana? You talking about Satrana? Is she a horse? Oh, Ly you're talking about Laika, the elf on the horse. Oh, Tamija, Tamija. I do like Tamija as well. There's a lot of horse girls. All right, Smokey in the back. Now over here, Rowan. And... Uh, Potions for sale. He has Vala Legendary, guys. Rowan is about to get red. Our little man here is about to get assassinated, dude. By one of the hottest characters in the game. So let's bait it out with uh, Corrin. Um, and then we can get a three setup with Odie, I guess. The hottest. Dude, end with the skin. Oh, I'm going to get the skin. Joe and Jez, that's the best part. I might have it already. I can't remember. I just don't play Vala right now. Parise is good too, and Zai, when we get the Honor Duel skin. Her voice, though, is kind of... Uh, no offense to the voice actor. I just heard Parise's voice. It's not that great. I think we're dead, guys. Yep. That's fine. We'll take 1L. We can take 1L. We can take 1L. Um... The problem with this left setup, guys, we're not going to play Mauler Heroes in the long run. But 30 seconds is such a long time. Fuck it. We'll go for the long run because we're going to go Graveborn. I feel like 30 seconds is way too long, though, in this matchup. Thorin. All right. We're in business. We are in business, chat. I 
I could buy this for now just to have some extra damage. I don't know if it's actually good, though. What'd you say, Volk? What the hell, dude? What is this? Oh, for, um... For, uh, what do you call it? What's that game y'all are playing? The Battle Royale? Which one to buy? Is this the same character? No, it's a different character, right? Dude, you gotta go with the bunny girl, man. Naraka, yeah. You gotta go Kurumi, right, boys? Right, Moon? I think this skin looks better. I like this one more. Damn, Red. Toxic, bro. All right, let's do the damn thing. Greater, so server seven, you can't even swap to if you wanted. Volk, be honest. Are you better than Red? Because I think Platy said otherwise. I think Platy said Red was actually decent and you and Evan were the worst he's ever seen in the game. Um Who else needs a little pick me up? You're not even worth getting up for. Everyone must pay a price. We'll use Igor as a potential second tank here. I may not even need it. Great material. Are everywhere. Potions for sale. Buy four, get one free. All right, see this. Plunderstorm. AT, if you wanted to try that out, I was down, by the way. But um. Oh shit, Rowan is dying, dude. Live, Rowan, live. I was about to tell you, I might be... Bro, Viperion died? Oh my god! Ult! Ult! Ult is here! Why is Muriel destroying me? Okay, he one-shots everybody. Stall! Stall! 49 seconds, we stall! Zai, is there any counterplay besides having a Vala or like Assassin? What the fuck do I do there, man? That is some bullshit, brother. If Viperion didn't die so early, I should have went Igor, I think. But I really like Viperion. Could buy this for Igor. Ah. <sighs> I don't have Sylvana or Vala, dude. Or Iron or Carolina, man. I'm playing like a defensive comp. You're not even worth getting up for. Do we have to go more cheesy? I wonder if it get cheesier. Who else needs a little pick me up? A little pick me up. Options for sale. Buy four, get one free. Draft. <laughs> more like. <laughs> That's some cheesy ass shit, dude. You're not even worth getting up for. Alright, we're gonna do it again. This time, he has no weird g gimmicks, dude. This team is gonna Great destroy his ass. Watch. Watch. Everywhere. Evan transformed to Giant of Dude, that sounds like what... E From what I saw Evan playing Lethal Company, that sounds like an Evan thing to do. The problem with the assassins, though, Zai, it's like only good versus those gimmick cheese comps. 
Whereas this comp I'm building is good versus just a... If I play standard versus standard, right, like an E7, this team should win. Like this. Although I say that, is this guy going to actually stall me out, this son of a bitch? I'm actually going to get stalled out, dude. Oh my god, please kill him! Team! This Igor son of a bitch is just jumping on... Go! Kill him! Three seconds! No fucking shot. No fucking shot. Joe! Bow before the king. Should have went Carolina. <sighs> I'm so mad right now, dude. I had a three round draw back to back with Igor once. <laughs> Who else needs a little potions for sale? Potions for sale. You're not even worth getting up for. It's the comp, dude. Everyone. He's doing the bullshit. Let's turn the battlefield into a cemetery. He's doing the bullshit. Good, Muriel messed up. She she attacked Carlisle. That was perfect. However, I'm not really killing anything yet. Team? <clears throat> Team? Am I winning, boys? I think I'm winning. Oh my! Never mind, we're losing. I just don't understand, dude. I don't understand. We need to just create some kind of bullshit ass combo, dude. Wait! Igor! Oh, of course, dude. When it's enemy Igor, though. When it's enemy Igor, guys, he lasts for 20 fucking seconds. I die at one second left, man. Sweet Caroline. All right, guys, let's go. Uh, let's go in tomorrow with a strong, a strong, a strong mental. We're gonna start honor duel from the rip. Like two hours of honor duel tomorrow, man. I think that's the play. People, I'm about to pity Valor for the eight time in a row. I'm so sorry, dude. 
That's actually really rough luck. <laughs> Jess, I gotta buy those packs. That I gotta buy those packs you funded us. There was a two hour time limit on one of them. I don't wanna miss it. Car, why are you so bad with honor duels? Fuck you guys. Alright, hold on. Let's get one started. Fuck you, chat. Focusing on Carolina as a core. I like this, dude. I like this. Snow Herb. Let's go, dude. This is good. This is a strong start. Zai, do we keep Muriel in this kind of setup, though? Oh my god. We are just gifted. We are gifted with some good shit right now. We need a healer, though, but I guess we'll just have to wait. Wait, were you saying we get rid of Muriel? Right? What's the... What am I looking for to combo with Carolina? Oh, Jess, I will save whatever I get. I'm just going to buy the powder stuff. But yeah, I'll save the summons for stream tomorrow. If you tell me you'll be here, I'll, I will wait. I will wait. I'll pick up the stuff and then I'll, I'll hold it. Everyone must pay a price. You're not even worth getting up for. A battlefield more merciless than the frigid winter. Yeah, Joe, I, I knew about that. Congratulations, man. Must be nice. Jesus, dude. Let's turn the battlefield. Oh, my. Looks like someone needs a little more. All right, we'll save the Stargaze. Dude, Joe's like rank 10, Rob. Guys, let's 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 play tomorrow, man. Chat, let's play tomorrow. I don't know how my my opponent has a fucking five graveborn setup with assassins from match one. Like what? Okay, one more ATK. Just read one more, one more. Okay, I got an assassin. All right, here we go. I'm the one now. I think we get Smokey too, just to set us off. And y'all said sell Muriel, right? We don't need Muriel for this. Now we win. Straight wins from here. <sighs> Rowan plus Granny. Wait, so Zai, you run Thorn plus Granny as well? Three Graveborn, Rowan, Granny? Everyone must pay a price. Who else needs a little pick me up? You're not even worth getting up for. See what he does here. Okay. Tamisia. Smoking in the back, and then he's got um That's Viperion, right? Okay. Present. We send Your Sylvina to assassinate this. Honestly, though, uh, never mind. We have to run Carolina. Our entire artifact is built around this. Let's go. Granny Rowan, Carolina, Iron Healer. Silence. Nice! Silvino, let's go! Good shit. Oh god, Vol is going ham though, dude. Did Carolina even do anything? Oh my god, we're dead, dude. I'm just getting jumped on by this horse.
Guys, we're dead, by the way. We are freaking dead, dude. Zai, like, how do I get this shit started? It's like, you need combo potential, but, like, the team is so weak in the start. Carolina does literally nothing. They have Vala and backline shit, and they just assassinate my backline, man. Everyone. Who else needs a little pick-me-up? A battlefield more merciless than more merciless. winter. More merciless. just jumping me, dude. Okay, look. They got an assassin. We got to bait this out. Uh, let's bait it out with Granny, maybe. Oh, I can't. We're dead. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then we send our assassin Your command. onto CC. Okay, here we go. Put a healer behind Carolina so the assassins target them first. The problem is, I want to make sure Smokey is able to be in range. See, look. See how Thorn moved up, uh, Zai? It's fine, Zai, uh, Zai. Granny's literally there to uh, to bait out the Sylvina. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm about to lose. Granny, go! He's got three lives, man. Oh, no. That was his last life. Okay. Jez, I will not. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, my God. That was close. That was our lifeline. Here we go. Only wins from here. That didn't give us enough of anything. Carmen made RTA. What are you talking about, Volk? What up, Zars? Am I missing something or can we only play once per day? The Honor Duel? No, you can play more than once per day. I think you have a cr amount of currency. You might have used all yours up. I've never ran out because I don't play that much. Oh, okay, let's focus up. Um, We can buy gold, okay. Yeah, just buy some more. Everyone knows. Needs a little pick me up. A battlefield more You're saying like this side, but like Smokey, because what's gonna happen, right? Um Thorn's gonna move up and he's gonna be out of Smokey's range, right? That's the part that sucks. I'd rather do this so he can heal and then uh we can just bait with someone else. Okay, triple mauler setup. Which is good for us. Um, is that you mean like Igor here? Present. Your command. Should we do double assassin? Let's try this. Toronto guys, what the fuck? Killer. Chat, thank you so much for hanging today. Thank you so much. We will get on this bright and early tomorrow, and uh, we're gonna hustle. We're gonna get this done. We're gonna learn how to play. Zai, the Igor was terrible, brother. I should just went with CC or so I don't know, man. We should have went with CC or some shit, dude. That shit was whack. 
All right, guys. I love y'all. Catch you later. Bye.